Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Oni, shall we? Alright, seems good. Oh, we still have that shove of all hanging around, messing up our build up here by dropping a uh, regolith in here. Uh, I guess I could just eat the eggs until the problem resolves itself. That's one way to handle it. Shove vol Oh, we're already doing that. Alright, cool. Fantastic. And what else is fantastic is... Not our natural gas flow, actually. So we're still trying to catch up with expanding our solar power system. We've actually... We're actually pushing towards building it all the way to the edge of the map from here. Uh, maybe when we start building it on the left side, we'll iterate on it a little bit. Um, I might build a bit higher than this whole mess this time. We'll see. Could you guys stop getting scalded? Why is it so hot here? 85 degrees. Probably because we don't have the power to spare to run our active cooling loop up here. That might be the reason. All the more reason we need to expand our power, and so on, and so forth. Uh, are we, like, gaining water here fast? Oh, I think I know what this is. It's because we sometimes get a Paku that makes fresh water. Uh, and then the fresh water has to be separate from the polluted water. I imagine that's how that works. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, did we add a filter? We did. So let's see. Fresh water goes down this way. For some reason they haven't built this. How what do you mean it's unreachable? It's right there. How is that unreachable if these other two tiles were reachable? Oh, because there's no O2 at the moment. Why is there no O2? Hmm. Hmm. Um, not that this needs to charge up with oxygen often, but, oh, that might, that might have something to do with it. Now there's at least a little bit of oxygen that's going to make its way over here, I believe. Yes, there it goes. That's really all we need, is just a trickle, because it's not often the dupes have to come in here. I wonder if that's why these uh, pipes didn't get repaired for such a long time. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What the hell? This battery is made of lead, and it somehow got hot enough in here for that to be a problem. How much steel do we have? Or oh, it doesn't even have to be steel, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Smart battery. I could make it out of copper. Uh, is all of our copper... Like, nice and cool now? It's 130 degrees. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna need a minute before it cools down completely. Um, but we do have it sitting on top of the uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier, which is running constantly, as a matter of fact. I'm actually surprised how long it's taking. 
to equalize the temperature here. I could put some crude oil on the ground. Or any liquid for that matter. Um, but yeah, I think what we might do... What is this for? Refined metal, copper, gold. That makes sense, actually. Uh, is there anything in it? Nothing. Was I trying to get them to pick it up from here, perhaps? That's probably it. Okay. So, we'll deconstruct this. Deconstruct the ladders. And I'll put a bottle emptier here for crude oil, and we'll drop just a little crude onto the floor, uh, which will transfer the heat between this and the surroundings very, very quickly. Uh, let's see. Bottle emptier. Hello, hello. Dilka, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's prioritize that just so I can see it done, so I can react to give it its order. Duplicant skills. There's quite a lot of them. What's damsel up to? Uh, carrying and suit wearing. Let's go. Exosuit training. Fantastic. Uh, excavation machinery, athletics... Cuisine strength. Damsel. I think you're a hauler, right? Storing, supplying, operating, tidying. Yeah, that's fine. How hot is it? Wow. It's hot all the way to this part of the base, actually. Hmm. I think I should stop... I think I should give up on, like, getting this to be cool enough. At least for the short term. Or even the medium term. Uh, what if I put an Atmosuit dock? Like, what I want to do is cut off the duplicates' access through here. So they have to pass through a suit dock this way, and then come back around and go up here. Um, we can't run the tubes through tiles, though. I could just have a gap, so the dupes can't go that way. Well, no, they'd, they'd be able to come up here without a suit if I did that. Hmm. Not too many people are streaming Oni tonight, indeed. I guess I'll be somewhere to go then. Do we not have wires here? We do not. Let's get... Actually, I need to think about how much is going to be on this one wire. Potential load is massive already, but on the other hand... We're never going to have the doors and the drills happening at the same time, right? So it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 times 120. Um, that is just under the 2 kilowatt limit. Hmm. I think we should probably put in some more... Uh, we, we've gone like halfway already. We should probably put in some more uh, power transformer. And I'd love to put it in the steam room so that the heat it generates uh, gets used for power. And we're not going to have to worry about it overheating or overheating the steam turbines or anything. But that would mean we need to do what I didn't do here before, which is to have heavy watt conductive joint plate through here, through the vacuum. Um, I guess that's not too difficult. 
I wonder if I could just remove this tile and it'll let me build this here before I... Um, before I open this up. I doubt it, though. T-Hacks, check this new Twitch feature. Uh, what new Twitch feature is that? Alright. Yeah, they won't let me build this here. Um... I'm gonna have to lose some steam in order to get this done. Because it's not like I can build the... build tiles over the liquid reservoir here. Oh, we're still dropping off water here? Uh, what pressure are we up to? Not very much. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's slash shoutout? Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I saw that on Damsels. I was wondering how to do that. I thought it was just something that I didn't know how to do. Shout out, damsel. Only one shout out can be active at a time. Wait a minute and try again. Okay. Got used too much. Indeed. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I think I saw on Damsel's stream, like, an announcement thing. Uh, I don't know if that's been around forever, or if that's new along with the shout-out. Um, I thought I just didn't know how to Twitch as well. What was I going to do with this? Um... Oh, I was theorizing, and we didn't end up using it because just stuff lying on top of it will indicate a green signal. I saw it at Damsels 2 first, indeed. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is heavy watt conductive joint plate uh, here, I guess. We're going to have to make this a wire bridge. A uh, conductive wire bridge. And remove this one. Um, so we're going to have a heavy watt conductive wire going into the steam room without losing heat through, uh, through there from the steam room because there's vacuum out here. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. New announce is a few months old. Oh, announce is a few months old. I see what you mean. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. It's definitely easier to type than the SO, um, particularly because I can tab it out. All right. Where was that other build I was waiting for? Here we go. Uh, liquid, crude oil, um, I won't enable auto bottle because there's already a bunch of bottles of crude oil lying around that are actually making it hard to see the battery charge, for example. Okay, here we go. What? Why did you come out for just one job? Oh my god. Really? Okay then. Oh, the poor shovel got hurt. Poor little, poor little guy. Can we please get this done? Fantastic. And then... That's... Is it okay if this is lead? I guess it is, actually, yes. It's not going to melt. Uh, and this is just so that we can have a transformer over here somewhere. Or oh, whatever else we want to put in here. Uh, anything that generates a little bit of heat, like batteries, 
um, it's actually pretty sensible to put in this room, uh, as long as we're prepared to keep it. Uh, as long as we're prepared to build it out of steel, though, I guess. Otherwise, it'll overheat. Um, but apart from that initial investment, it's all good. We get just a little bit more heat recycled and turned into power. Okay. Um, can we maybe hurry it up on this one so that the steam doesn't all leak out? Someone doing it? Requires learned skill unreachable. Unreachable? Seriously? How is that unreachable? If it was unreachable, how did we deconstruct it? Bruh. How about this then? Is it unreachable now? It says it is. How really? Oh no. It's not because of Oh, I'm I'm dense. Uh, that was because there's too many people in uh, Atmo suits up here at the moment. Okay, how about now? There we go. Evil Plaza on the on the job. Fantastic. What is going on here? Damage overheating. How did this just gain heat? Oh, because steam got out. Yeah, we, we've we done... We've made that mistake before. Well, that's just going to cost us a little bit of glass. And that'll be the last of the steam that gets out. When they repair it, it resets it to a default 20 degrees. Wait, what? Oh, there's still steam. That's taking a lot longer to dissipate than I would have expected. The dupes even repaired this. Oh, I guess I set it. For some reason, it's super high priority. I guess it does make sense, but um, I'll, I'll put off repairing it until the steam is gone. I'm really surprised how fast they built that for once. Uh, let's see, we need a dry ball here, and we need it pretty soon, and it doesn't really matter on this side. Okay, so there's the last of our steam. Fantastic. What are we printing? Uh... I thought it I thought that said typing for a second. Um, let's see. We're mostly just looking for a couple of haulers still. Doctoring, suit wearing, farming, tidying yeah, no, not today. Okay. Back to space. Did we get our uh, drywall queued up. Oh, it's it's bedtime already, pretty much. Veldex on the job. There we go. Just in time to not let out another few kilos of steam. What's happening here? Turbine too hot. Wait. Did the steam get into the turbine room? How did that happen? That shouldn't have been possible. Are you telling me it went through where the solar panel is? But if that were the case, you'd think hydrogen would get through. Uh, that's a little frustrating. Um, this steam turbine's still cool enough to work at least. 
And they cool each other, so... The pipe is busted? Well, that's not good. In fact, one would argue that is very bad, actually. Um, and everyone's asleep. Perfect. Uh, who would have thought it'd be this hard just to add heavy watt conductive wire going into the steam room? I guess I could have vented all of the steam before getting started. That would have seemed a bit overkill at the time. Alright, so... It doesn't seem like... We're not gaining heat right now because... Because why? Why are these doors open? Oh, because they don't actually need power. And we do have power for the space scanners and such. Hmm. All the more reason we have to hurry up and fix this. Alright. I see it delivered. Can, can we not get this fixed, please? There we go. Um, so what's broken here? Is it another piece of pipe? Uh, it's not broken yet. Okay. So that should get cooled off. And we should see the water, uh, the steam phase back down into water. And we should be able to repair this as well. I hope. Okay. I don't think they can reach over here. Alright, I think... I think now should be the last time we put up with the scalding up here. Why don't we get... what's the temperature like here? A chilly 25 degrees? Uh, why don't we get ourselves a good U... Uh, why is there a Draco in here? This, this room was supposed to be for shove vols and nothing else. Well, it got sheared once, anyway. <laughs> um, how many dupes do we have? Eleven. I think I'll go for, like, six this time. We've got plenty of resources. Uh, six Atmosuit docks. Because I don't want to see that message again that the dupes can't go there because um, because there's not enough uh, Atmo suits. And we're going to need to deconstruct this and this. Um, we're going to need a transit tube access about here. Not quite. Right about here. And then... That's gonna go... I could force them to use the transit tube access. But I don't think that's the best idea. Um, we should definitely have a plan B. So we'll get them to climb up a ladder here. I might have to move this over a tile. 
and transit tube access can go here, I think. What the? Why can't I? There we go. Alright, cool. And connect to power like so. Connect oxygen like... That's unfortunate. Uh, we can fix that pretty easily. Bridge across there. Snippy this. Make that high priority so we don't end up blocking the pipe while we wait. And oxygen is supposed to be this pipe. Is our oxygen okay? It looks like it is. Okay. Uh, so, oxygen... We're gonna need another bridge here, I think. For the natural gas. Alright, so that goes there. Snippy that. Max priority. And then... This goes here. And we need a bridge. I can't put the bridge here, actually. Uh, okay. In that case, we need yet another bridge about here. Cool. Should probably let a little bit of hydrogen through. Um, oh, it's already not outputting because it's over pressure. Hmm. What I could do is take the easiest method to get rid of this steam. It'll also cool this room down. Um, it'll take a it'll take a little while. But I'm just gonna cut off the gas flow to this room and deconstruct some of these uh, drywall. We'll let the hydrogen and steam out of this room and then I'll fill it with hydrogen again. And then we want probably insulated tile here. Oh, we can't actually... Oh. Hmm. Alright. Let's figure out exactly what this is going to look like. I think I'd like insulated tile like so. Why is it possible to put insulated tile here? Oh, it's not? Okay. I guess there's no real... Well, we are trying to keep the heat up this side. Uh, yeah, I think this will have to be a... Uh, heavy what? Uh, conductive joint plate. Probably best if I don't cut off the dupe's access while they're trying to build it. And this goes here. We need to swap this out as quickly as possible. What the? Wait, what did I just deconstruct? Oh no. Uh, it's definitely gas pipe. Okay. This is what we need to deconstruct in a hurry. And then build this in a hurry. It won't be perfectly insulated, but it doesn't need to be. And... Hello? What? 
Oh, did I prioritize the pipe? I did. Okay. And let me guess, everyone's asleep. Not quite. There we go. And there isn't some hidden tile behind here. Lead. Wait, what? Lead? Uh, conductive joint plate, gas bridge, gas pipe, lead. It just says lead. How is there lead sitting on this tile? Whatever. Uh, so I'd like to see... Insulation here. Uh, insulation here, but that'll be lowest priority. Ladders, dig through there, and transit tube access, like so. Decon that as a priority. Yeah, I know we're getting scalded still. That's what we're trying to fix now. No one's deconstructed any of this yet. I don't understand what's with these weird shadows with the modded airlock doors. It's very strange. They're not always the same shape or anything either. Alright, cool. Oh, and then this goes here. And once this is built, uh, if we've got any spare Atmo suits, we're going to find out. What's this line? It looks weird. It's table salt that looks weird. Like a giant crystal. Okay, and we might... Oh, yikes. I was going to say we might want our coolant pipe to pay a visit to this area as well, but while we're at it, why the hell is our coolant pipe so not full? Most of it's full. Oh, did I break this? I think I temporarily decided to stop the flow of this for some reason, and I may have forgotten about it. Um, it's putting water into the system. Oh, that's getting that's getting cooler. That's good. Um, let's see pipes. Power. Uh, the reservoir has plenty of slush in it. Plenty of brine. So how... How do we not have full... Oh, it's going back up here. Why would it do that? Was something over full at one point? This has the opposite condition of this. We're letting Brian back into the pool here because this is... Bowl? Uh, and once it gets down to 60, we'll stop doing that. But for it to get there... I think this, uh, this might be a bit flawed, actually. No? We've got a limited amount going into the... 
liquid reservoir at the moment. It is going down. So I guess this is just what happens when... I don't know how the liquid reservoir got fuller than it's supposed to be. Uh, but once it gets down to 60%, which is 3k, it should... It must be cycling back and forth. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna cut this off. Yeah, I think, uh, I think even though we've got, like, a, a, a bit of a buffer here. Red signal when 80% full until it's low. Green signal when 60 until it's 80. It's going to keep going back and forth. We need more logic to not do that. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it off for now. So we should see our, uh, our coolant loop nice and full in due time. It might take a couple of cycles. Uh, let's see. Priority 9, deliver suit, copy settings, and that didn't work. It's just the priority. Deliver suit, deliver suit, deliver suit, deliver suit, deliver suit. We can borrow uh, these suits here, and we might need three more if we want that finished properly. Alright, there's our gas leaking out. Most importantly, the steam. Is it going to be tricky for them to deliver these? I might have to temporarily disable the other checkpoint. Oh, maybe not. How did Matrim get here with no... Oh, we haven't built this yet, that's why. All right, there's one Atmo suit. That's enough to get the uh, to get the ball rolling. Let's build this insulated tile so the the dupes won't go up here and get scalded anymore. Is there anyone up here? Yes, there is. This this is the last time. Okay. And now we just need to fix our oxygen supply. Um, I think I should probably change some of this spaghetti. Like cutting this off, perhaps? Zaghun, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And now it's all... How is there polluted oxygen in here? Because this was never filtered, I guess. That's a pretty good reason. That could have ended up in the Atmo suits. Um, is there a filter down here? There is not. When did we get polluted oxygen in here? I guess there's a little bit over there. Hmm, we've got deodorizers around, but... Maybe 
a few more would be in order. Alright, can we get this to go up here? Oh, I didn't see any polluted oxygen here when I looked, but that is, that is indeed polluted oxygen. Uh, is this a filter? It is a filter. Okay, fantastic. So I probably shouldn't have this pipe at all down this way. Wait, what? What did that say? Oh, blueprint? Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. Snapshot. Create a blueprint and quickly place it elsewhere. Oh, so this is copy and paste. Alright, cool. Fantastic. How's this build looking? We've still got a bit of hydrogen. Well, I'm seeing hydrogen but not steam because we have water here. Let's mop up the water. Is this unreachable? It is. I thought a dupe was stuck here for a second there. Uh, let's finish our build over here, I guess. I need to prioritize... Oh, I need to actually connect this. That would probably help. Construction priority 9. What are these blue doors? Uh, modded airlock doors. Um, unfortunately, they don't keep heat apart uh, because the, these two tiles here are not a, a proper vacuum. Um, but basically, without making too much of a mess with like water locks or the ridiculous amount of stuff if, that you have to use if you want mechanical airlocks to actually work with vanilla, uh, it's just three by two tiles. Um, alright, so... Can we get that oxygen pipe built? We can, fantastic. And there's hydrogen in here, that's not what we're looking for right now. Uh, I need to let a little bit of hydrogen out through here, even though it's going to vent to space. Okay, uh, so that goes there, and that should do it, actually. And we need to snippy this, connect this here, and oxygen. Fantastic. Why is this part taking so long to get built? Unreachable build? Oh, because... Because we're waiting for oxygen here, that's why. They can't make a little exception to just pop over here. Uh, unless I disable this building, but then they're going to go all the way up here and get scalded. Our throughput of polluted dirt is improving. Oh, we also get Paku fillets without even trying. That's nice. Do they get sad if there's too many? They do. Uh, I guess I could... If we do an auto-sweeper... The, the trouble is, I have to make a kill room if I sweep them away automatically. Wait, can we even do that with an auto-sweeper? Pick up a, uh, a Paku? Who knows. How many do we have now? Ten critters. Out of twenty. That's including the eggs. 
I think. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. So it's not counting the eggs. So we've got at least one, two, three eggs. And we can't... We can't really see with the room stats with Paku how many they'd be happy with. Hmm. What's this? No landing available. You don't say. Okay. Someone's already taken the Atmo suit somewhere, but it wasn't to build this wire. Let's see if we can't do something about that. All right, have we gotten rid of the water yet? We have, fantastic. Oh, gotten rid of the steam, I should say. Let's build those again. Paku aren't impacted by sadness? Really? That's convenient. I guess they'll be impacted by not having enough food eventually, though. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They will always lay an egg before dying? Wow, okay. That opens up unethical possibilities. Oh, wow, that's a... Uh, that, that's a few too many poker shells. If I'm being entirely honest. Um, why don't we just... Well, let me check the age. We'll get the oldest ones. 42... 39... 42... 30... Okay. Paku who are domesticated will lay an egg every... One to two cycles. Yeah, I noticed there was a bit of a population explosion. Normal ones once in their entire lifetime. Okay. That's why there's always that one Paku in a polluted pool somewhere. Aww. The spawn is so cute. Just bouncing around with oversized eyes. Why have we not built this yet? Probably because whoever... Deliver suit? Wait, what? Has someone borrowed the suit? Or... Or did it get taken somehow? Um, well, in any case, this will fill up with oxygen, and then this one will fill up with oxygen, and it'll sort itself out. We could have one team and use those eggs to starvation farm. Oh no. Oh, I forgot about the oil down here. We've probably put... No oil? What? Maybe it's just too low priority? There we go. Boovim's on the case. That's good, because I wanted exactly one uh, delivery of oil here. Where's Boovim? Here he comes. I, I, I didn't have auto bottle enabled, though. He should have got it from upstairs. Oh, he didn't have access. Okay. And we're just going to deconstruct that. And now the copper uh, should exchange heat with the environment 
much more quickly. There's 16.7 tons of it right here, though, somehow. So it's going to take a little longer than we might expect uh, to cool off. In fact, you can see the heat. Like, the AETN is cooling the gas quite quickly, but these pipes right here are signif uh, significantly hotter than up here. 29 degrees versus... Oh, sorry, the pipe itself is 30 degrees. The contents are 42, and then 21 and 30 up here. Kandar Jr., Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well, that will... that'll cool off eventually. Um, copper is... let's see. Plus 50 degrees, so 125 degrees is overheat for buildings. It's already cool enough uh, to make buildings. Although I would prefer I would prefer it to be a bit cooler before we build something out of it. Evil Plow, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And there's our oxygen filling up the next Atmo suit. So we can finally, finally uh stop getting scalded up here. We can go ahead and remove that Atmo suit checkpoint. Oh, I wonder if they wore the suit from here, traveled up this way, went over here, and then when they came back, they saw an Atmo suit checkpoint, so they dropped it off. That's probably exactly what happened. Okay, then. Oh, crap. Um, that's actually not as bad as it looks. Our generators are too hot, but they're in a vacuum right now, so of course they are. I'm actually surprised they're still working a tiny bit. But that'll, that'll fail soon. Uh, we really need to get the access to the surface working again as quickly as possible. Maybe I should disable this building for a sec. And then max prio these two. And then probably... Probably sweep these. Put those on max priority. Wait, what? Did I not order the Atmo suit to be swept? It did. It doesn't actually have a storage, does it? Hmm. Instead of sweeping, I could set deliveries to these as super high priority. So someone should be delivering those now. And then we'll enable this building again. Fantastic. Uh, hello? Fantastic? Alright. Nice. There's still an Atmos suit up here. I thought I marked this for deconstruction. Maybe I, I must have cancelled it. Which means we're going to see it now. They're going to come back down here and drop off the Atmo suit.
Yep. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Uh, please... Please go home. Do not scold yourself to death trying to deconstruct the Atmo suit checkpoint, please. Much better. Alright. So, we just need one more piece of drywall replaced here. Fantastic. And then, let the nice, cool, relatively speaking, uh, hydrogen into this room. If full, they drop it on the floor. If full. Wait, what was full? Pretty hot, indeed. Alright, so temperature... It's pretty hard to see, but temperature in this room is dropping. Because we're letting the hydrogen through. Uh, it's coming through at a mere 50-something degrees now. Uh, and once that fills up, that'll be a medium to exchange heat between the water output and the rest of the room. Especially the steam turbines and keep them cold enough to keep deleting heat passively. Can I provide some minor wisdom about Atmo suits? Uh, sure. And thank you for asking. Alright, it's going to take a while uh, for this to fill up with O2, which is fine. I think. Put them at the bedroom exit. It's a bit late for that. I'd need to redesign the entire base. Do they actually... Does the oxygen actually last an entire cycle? That way they'll always be in a suit. Yeah. Um... Pretty much. Wow. I don't know. See, seeing them do... Seeing them eat in an Atmo suit is going to be kind of weird. Um, so is this thing not going to get delivered? Oh, here we go. Deliver suit. And that should be highest priority. So it's a job that needs to get done and only needs to get done once. Alright, we're just about hitting max pressure here. Getting there. Um, now we just need to keep building this out. We've finally got the heavy watt conductive wire able to come this way. What's the max load on this? Too much. Only in practice, not really. Alright, let's get ourselves a large power transformer made out of steel. Heavy watt conductive, made out of lead. Act like so, and that's going to power the rest of these uh, bunker doors and robo miners. So, how many Atmo suits do we actually have lying around? Uh, it says zero, but there's one right here. I guess it's because they don't have a path to it right now.
I might just make a couple more anyway. I'm pretty sure we need three more to completely... To have one suit per... Per dock. As it is right now. It only costs iron. And reed fiber is infinite. Percent feel free? What? What is this bot doing? Jackal Anton? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I presume I've got this set. Not as a super high priority. Hmm. Oh good, they can get in and out of this now. Okay, what's the temperature? Much better. Much better. Alright, cool. Here comes our Atmo suit. Okay, that was kind of cool. Surprisingly fast. Hi, hope you're doing well. Really enjoying the Factorio VODs on YouTube. Amazing series. Thank you. Uh, Curry Gupta. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate that. And up we go, without a Atmo suit. Why? This isn't disabled, right? It's not disabled. So how did he get here without an Atmo suit? Uh, and thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Sub hype, indeed. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, was it Matrim? Does it just not show the Atmo suit when they're in the... when they're in the tube? No? Yes? Okay, it definitely... I'm pretty sure it just doesn't render the Atmo suit while they're in the tube. That's kind of weird. The Atmo suits disappear for certain animations, like eating. Okay. It showed up when she walked past the old suit-up place. Fair enough. Alright. Um, it's a little bit of a nuisance every time we expand this thing, so I want to wait this time until we've got this whole thing ready to go. But on the other hand... We've been struggling for power for so long, and this just might push it over the edge. I don't know. The whole thing would be much more likely to push it over the edge. They're doing a lot of uh, work here now. Maybe because more Atmo suits? But the one at the end still hasn't managed to fill up even once. I can't really see a good way to prioritize it either. I mean, in the long run, we really don't need to prioritize it. Um, I mean... I could just temporarily cut this off. That'll fill up pretty quickly, actually. Relatively quickly. It is, it's a lot of Atmo suits. Uh, maybe six really was overboard, but the, the amount of, most of the time, when I want them to do something up here, I want them to do it quick smart. I want a burst of activity. So I think it's worth.
Okay. And we're going to want a conductive wire bridge up here. And is this iron? It is iron. It probably doesn't need to be. Actually, possibly. Better safe than sorry. Good. I kind of like the large power transformers just because it's a lot clearer um, at a glance to see which way they're going. These ones always somehow trip me up. Oh, what a noise. We've got, still got 1900 steel, apart from what's already reserved. That's nice. We'll have steam turbines, like so. Not enough lead, really. Are we actually out of lead, or...? It... we might be out of lead. I don't think they lack access to this area. Yeah, I think we've hit the point where our copper from our volcano is, uh, much more abundant than lead. Now what about the temperature? 101 degrees? Um, well, it's, it's significantly cooler than it was, but it's still hot enough that if we build our steam turbines out of it, they'll just not work. Um, and I don't think we want that. What, an amount of oil? Uh, amount of oil? Where? Nap time until the medicine does its job? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, hope you get well soon. Kandar Jr., take care, sleep well, I hope. Make sure you get plenty of rest, mitigate the chance of permanent damage. What do we have here? Dupes aren't too exciting. Um, I'll just take the seed. Actually, I should have take the, taken the wild pipsqueak. We might have one roaming around somewhere, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do, based on these balm lilies here. But more than one is better. Oh, all of these uh, crude oil barrels have various volumes, because I, because I couldn't control the dupes putting oil here. Was that the amount of oil we're talking about? I think Zagun means when you are looking for lead. Oh. Yeah, I just haven't, uh, I haven't utilized oil much yet, because I got my plastic from Glossy Dracos, so I don't actually have any oil industry. Um, the only temptation to bother with that, that I know of so far, is petroleum, uh, so that we can have jetpacks. But I've been working on other projects. 
Our copper is down to 100.4 degrees. How exciting. It really is... Uh, the anti-entropy thermo nullifier really is incredibly cheap for what it does. It's just a shame that I'm guessing... I'm guessing you only ever find one. And it might not be in the most convenient place. But... Judging from what I've seen so far... Oh? Is this another one? It is. It's pretty far away, though. But maybe I should make use of that as well. I think next time I'll definitely um, use the AETN for a cooling loop like this um, again. Like from much earlier on in the game. We've got a we've got a loop here using the hydrogen itself as a cooling loop, and we're just putting a little bit into the AETN and the rest cycles. Nine hundred and ninety grams of hydrogen in each section of pipe, whenever it loops around. That's uh, literally ninety nine percent as much. Thermal conductivity, as if we were use the, using the uh, hydrogen, if it was full. Oh wow, our liquid is so much cooler than it used to be. Um, and that that carries through to the rest of the base as well. Come to think of it, at this rate, eventually we might actually have to put a limit on running the AETN. Um, how am I going to do that, considering the shape of pipe that I've put here? Probably just anywhere, actually. Um, I could put a uh, gas shutoff. And we could simply stop looping. I think the best place to stop it would be right before it goes into the AETN. Right? Or maybe just after, so it fills up here. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Good to see you all again. Crazy, uh, Crazy Deadstar, welcome, welcome. How is the rest of your stream today? Thank God that worked. Why would it? Why wouldn't it work today? I thought I messed it up. Okay then. Uh, are, are we doing Steamship tomorrow, or next next Factorio stream, whenever that is? Starvation. Uh, with oh, that's actually pretty scary. We've only got 76,000 K calories. I got all the pieces for it right at the end. Nice. So, steamship next time straight away? Yes. I don't know why everything decided today was the day to break. <laughs> I know that feeling. It, it to be Factorio sometimes. Oh yeah, I can reconnect this. I forgot. Um, what am I going to do about food right now? It would probably help if our, uh, if our mushrooms were cool enough to grow. What if I had a temperature sensor here and I stole from the hydrogen cooling loop? And... Uh, it's enabled unless the temperature is starting to get too low. If we're at, say, 10 degrees, we'll, we'll not cycle hydrogen through here. Or use the new en entropy? Entropy? Uh, what does that mean? Is that like a new feature or something? Um, let's see. 
temperature sensor... Well, it varies across the room. But... Let's see, 36... 37... 39... 40... It's actually not that different. 46 over here, though. Okay, what's the, what's the most extreme... It's about a 10 degree range. So if I aim for like 20 degrees, that should be okay. Let's try putting a temperature sensor right about here. Um, we'll expand our radiant pipes out this way. And this way. If I do it this way, I'm going to need two gas shutoffs. And I think they suck up 10 watt continuously. So I might just have it loop down like so. And then gas shut off. I need a way for it to flow through here. I could just let that go 50-50. I don't think this area is going to heat up that quickly. It's just gathered a lot of heat over time. It's probably fine, right? Do we even need to prioritize it somehow. Well, I, I could actually prioritize it really easily. Um, gas bridge, like this. So if this isn't moving, the gas will go down here. Uh, if it is moving, it'll come here, top priority. That, that should be fine. Actually, it's not going to stop it from flowing this way, is it? Uh, it might. I've had some weird experiences with the... with the gas bridges. Okay. And we need to snippy just here. Let's get this one built first, just so that I can give it its settings, and a little bit of automation wire, and then we've actually got way more copper than lead now. The only thing is we're waiting for it to cool down, uh, and we'll need some power for that as well. That cooling thing that requires hydrogen... Oh, the AETN? Not good at English. Oh, that's fine. Use the new... Oh, the new AETN. I'll get to that eventually, but it's pretty far away. Um, I'm not going to rush straight over to it. This is actually probably going to turn into a bit of a prototype for how we could have uh, how we could have temperature management that works on a room to room basis. Won't you be heating up mushrooms since hydrogen at the end is 40 plus degrees? Uh, no, the, the hydrogen here is 40 degrees because it's it's going past a, a bunch of copper that is still at 98 degrees. Um, so this is actually the hottest point for it. Uh, as the hydrogen comes down... Oh wait, 
What's the temp here? Okay, yeah, surprisingly hot, still. I mean, it will get cooler, though. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I'm actually surprised how cool it is here already. Even so, it's rather inconvenient. I, I, I kind of wish I'd looped it around the other way. I did already think about changing the direction of it, but that would actually be really inconvenient and difficult, I think. Um, I'd have to spin these gas bridges around. This part wouldn't have to change, except we'd have to... This would have to go input, and this output would have to go over here. Uh, what else? That gas bridge would just turn around, I think. This doesn't actually go anywhere. Uh, what about the input from, from where we're getting our hydrogen? That goes to here. Um, I think it would just have to go here instead. Okay, it might actually not be as difficult as I thought to turn it around. Let's do that. So this is going to have to go here. This is going to have to go up here. And that's going to go snippy snip. Um, I don't particularly want to be marking all of these for deconstruction while I'm not staring at them, because I don't want to forget where the bridges were. Alright, here we go. That goes there. This goes here. So far, so good. And delete those ones. Um, snippy that. Delete that. And then... Next is this bridge. Someone's on the way. Good job, Kevin. Flip that around. And then... I don't think we actually need this bridge. We can just have this connect here, I think. I could be wrong about that. It might end up deadlocked. We, I think we want a bridge here, actually, so that the input will be blocked by the gas that's already in the system. It's kind of hard to see, but the main thing is that the output from the bridge from the input pipe is already has gas uh, covering it. If it's, com if it's coming down this way, then this output will be blocked. So that effectively prioritizes this. Okay, and that has turned around the gas. Nice. Alright, so now... Now what? What is this connected to? That, that definitely shouldn't be connected to anything at this stage. Alright. 
Uh, ideally, if I just put the gas shut off here, we could prioritize that flow without a bridge. Not sure if that's how that'll work. Actually, I think I'd. I think what I would need, actually, now that I think about it, is a bridge like this and a bridge like this. Yeah, I think that's right. And this will prioritize the gas flow to the left if we can go to the left. Gonna have to wait for the whole thing to be built um, before we make that change. Let's see, if temperature is above 15 degrees, we're gonna assume that we should pump coolant through here. It is going to heat up a little bit before it gets here, but it's still, it's already within range for the mushrooms. Alright, cool. AETN still doing its thing. Oh, it's sleepy time, isn't it? Can we at least get these bridges finished? That way I can cut off this bit. It's going to lose just the slightest amount of heat exchange with the room because we're going to remove one piece of uh, radiant pipe, but that's fine. Why can't I click on the radiant pipe? There we go. What temperature are we down to here? 37. Not bad at all. So why is it coming out here at only 30 degrees? If it was coming out here at like 40, such a short time ago. I don't know. Move bridge two tiles up so it prioritizes taking coolant from the mushroom room. Uh, it'll be 50-50 here, which is fine. Um, if... Oh, I'm going to have to turn around this gas shut off. Whoops. Uh, but if, if the, if it is flowing this way, it's all going to flow this way and there's going to be nothing coming up this way. And when that changes, it's just going to go 50-50, which should be okay. All right. So we need a gas shut off. And I think. I should have made a note of where the automation wire connects because I wanted to make it as short as possible, like this. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Snippy hit. And it actually goes to the exact same spot for power. We are. Um back up to 111,000 K calories, but I'm not resting on my laurels there. Okay, almost done. Um, can we get this finished so that I can give it settings? Oh, I don't think the gas shutoff itself needs settings now that I think about it. Okay, that goes there. Oh, 
What was that sound? All right, let's see. Disabled by automation grid. Yeah, it's just green or red signal. The thing itself has no settings. And there it is. Temperature is already dropping pretty rapidly, actually. What's our limit? 35 degrees. We're already down to 36. Over here, 45 over here. 36 over here. I see a mushroom growing. Fantastic. It should equalize pretty well as well, actually. The hotter and colder spots in the room should be closer together after this. Why have we got such a big gap? Oh, right. Obviously. That'll sort itself out. It might take a little while to accumulate enough hydrogen, though. Maybe not as long as I thought, actually. Although our reservoir here is empty now, but just barely. We should be able to fill up all of these empty tiles. Nice. Oh wow, this reservoir is pretty full now. Well, that works. Come to think of it, I could also connect this here, so that if this was backed up, this could flow in, but I don't think it matters. Okay, so that's our hydrogen gas cooling loop. Expanded a bit. Uh, carbon dioxide 33 degrees. I was just waiting for fertilization now. That didn't take long at all. This. It's still a little bit too hot here, just a tad. And the lower room is a little bit hotter. But yeah, the color is the color is changing quite quickly. The heat uh, in this room, in our water res uh, reservoir. Fantastic. Now what about fertilizer? Um, are we not... Insufficient resources dirt. We're making lots of polluted dirt. We've got... Compost. Is it because our priority is feeding polluted dirt to these critters? Probably. And surprisingly enough, despite how many Paku we have, we've actually got 13 Paku here. Um, presumably, since they're glum, we'll produce less material as a result. It doesn't say how much less. Hmm. That really is a lot of Paku. Alright, I want to try a little experiment here. Actually, let me just read their stats. Uh, let's see... Livable up to 80 degrees. So if we go for 
an auto sweeper. Probably over on the left side would be convenient. Then we get ourselves a... Where is it? I think it's the weirdest looking sensor. Critter sensor. Is it even going to tell us how many are in this room? I think it probably should. We'll also be needing a... Conveyor loader? Is this even going to work? I don't know if we're going to be able to load Haku themselves. Damn, these things breed quickly. Uh, you know what? We've got eggs. I'm just gonna... Just gonna do that. Because we really need some throughput of dirt. There's no way to, like, automatically mark the... We can auto-wrangle the surplus, but we can't, like to attack the surplus or anything. What are these sweeping? Uh, pinch. Oh, the eggs. Right. I forgot. Alright then. I wonder if the packer were going to go left and right enough for this to work, even if my assumptions are correct. Is this really your first Oni playthrough? Pretty much. It's by far uh, the first time I've gotten this far. Um, I haven't... Uh, I haven't had a playthrough before where we had steam turbines and solar panels, definitely. Um, but e even just steam turbines actually being net positive for power as opposed to having one that was not really working properly. Uh, this is our first time. Um, sure, give us some shine loops. Uh, Geng Hishan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice base, thank you. I definitely... Like... It's a bit more cluttered and hard to look at than I would like next time. But in general, it worked out pretty well. Um, I, I want to learn more about the game before I try to like plan out an entire base to get an idea of what the next playthrough, uh, what I want it to look like. I definitely know that I want the main bus, uh, the ladder and firepole area to be uh, at least nine tiles wide. Um, just so that we have room for things like uh, large transformers or transit tube accesses uh, on the side before we go into the door, into a room. Um, it's also going to be a lot easier to have uh, our gas pipes and water uh, fluid pipes, sorry, not fluid, uh, liquid pipes going up and down a lot more easily that way. Uh, I'd like to have... And thank you very much for the follow. Uh, I'd like to have a sort of a central cooling system as well. Uh, this might be the prototype of it right here, whereby we've got liquid and or gas being cycled and for, for individual rooms we have a temperature sensor um, to decide whether to pump coolant through. 
Um, so once this gets down to 15 degrees, we're going to stop. Although at this rate, that might take a while. Which is fine, as long as the mushrooms are growing. This one is not growing though. Hmm. Oh yeah, CO2 is like the worst gas for exchanging temperature, isn't it? So if anything, it's surprising how quickly this room cooled down a bit. You're welcome. It's very interesting to watch someone play this from scratch. You see mistakes that newbies make, indeed. How are we doing on the rock? Pretty good. Thank you very much, Kevin, for the five months. Much appreciated. Uh, you are still maybe MVP builder. Uh, almost every time I need something to happen and I see the errand, who's coming to get it done, it's it's Kevin. I'm getting really tired of these shove balls. Um, I might even just attack them. As opposed to wait for their eggs. Wait, when, when do they die of old age? Let's see. 22 cycles for this one? And there's another one over here somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. But yeah, they keep trying to mess up this build. Oh, is this is this you? No, nope, that's that's Mr. Age seventy eight. How's our hot copper doing? It is down to a chilly 91 degrees. Very, very good. Uh, if we so desire, we could make our steam engines out of that up here. In fact, I don't really see any reason not to. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to equalize just below 100 degrees eventually anyway. This one's 24 cycles. The thing is, if they if they drop their eggs somewhere that we can't get to, uh, they are going to reproduce and continue to wreak havoc. I guess it's not that much... I guess havoc is a bit of an exaggeration. I'll leave them be. I just have to... Uh, make sure to... order these digs done until they stop. Just like tea, indeed. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, we've actually dug this out now. Fantastic. Uh, I actually need all of that material to drop down so that the uh, the steam turbine room doesn't stop, start too hot. I know this is more way more steam turbines than we need, but I'd rather be super safe. Oh, wait a sec. Oh no, that's fine. I was thinking of a different machine. What is the end goal in Oni? Uh, what are you working towards? Uh, personally, just complete mastery of our environment. Um, and I'd like to build better, neater bases next time. Like, this is, this is a big improvement up here compared to some of the spaghetti we have down here. Although, I don't exactly think this was a mistake. Thinking about coolant loops right from the beginning, um, I might come up with a few things that are a bit more sensible next time. So 
So no rocket as in Factorio? Uh, there are rockets actually. We haven't got there yet. We need uh, the next tier of science, which is... Oh wow, we, st we still haven't finished multiplexing? I don't think I'll ever use multiplexing, but still. Uh, but yeah, there are, in fact... We've already researched it, actually. Introductory rocketry. And we need the telescope to get this uh, yellow science. Um, I was actually looking at... Where was I going to maybe build that? I should probably remove this old build, but it's going to be so much more work to to do that than to just ignore it. I think instead I'd like to just sort of build up here, maybe. And we'll dig this away eventually if the... If we continue with this save for that long. Not as an end goal. Yeah, I don't know if there's like officially an end goal. Oh, I see what happened here. Um, deconstruct all. What is that sound that keeps happening? Is our power failing or what? I mean, I wouldn't expect our power to be good right now. It actually is pretty good right now. I see an exclamation mark in the upper left. Default schedule downtime? I, I'm guessing that's not what you were referring to. I'll try and look this way when I hear that sound next time. Okay. Do they not have access here? They do. Oh, unreachable build. Okay. Unreachable build. Is it because of this? No, they've gone through here before. They can go this way, regardless. You little sneaks. It's the shovels. Bruh. That... that's rude. That is very rude. You know what? I'm done playing... I'm done playing with these shove voles. Beep, 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 beep. Actually, why don't I try to wrangle it? I made a room for them. Let's see if we can't get that to actually work. Where's the other one? Oh, I saw movement. Aha! Someone gonna wrangle it? Uh, Carenza is on the case. Fantastic. Up you go. Did I miss it? Probably. Oh, or they lost path to it because the thing keeps popping into the ground. little sneaks. It's going to be really difficult to get them to be wrangled, actually. Um, am I going to have to, like, move Carenza up here and then have him stand around until... Hmm. Uh, what are we printing? Probably nothing. I mean, snazzy suit is fine too. I 
kind of forgot to even think about asteroids for a while. This whole thing's been operating pretty smoothly for now. It was hot last time I saw your, your stream. Can you cool the whole thing? Uh, O2 levels. Oh. How's that O2? Uh, pretty good, actually. Although, there's a distinct lack of oxygen in the mess hall. Um, that's not so good. Hmm. I think what I might do, if I can, is... Uh, I, I really am regretting having these pipes close together. But I'll add a waste pipe. For CO2 here. Right about here. And we may as use, may as well use that pipe that's there already. And we need a gas element sensor because we only want to suck in air if we find CO2. And maybe it would be a good idea to give it a filter gate, so it'll only trigger after a few seconds of CO2. like what we're doing down here. Um, one would think if we're getting rid of CO2 way down here that there wouldn't be some accumulated over this way, but one would be wrong. Okay. How much steel do we have? 2.4 tons? Fantastic. Uh, we can go ahead and build our solar panel here now. Can, can, can I move? There we go. And we'll want to rebuild this. Doors are still working. Good to know. We've actually got like uh, a good half of the map almost. Where we're collecting iron. Oh, we once we get this set up, we'll have like 40% of the map when asteroids are coming in. Uh, meteors, I should say. Um, giving us iron. And a bit of gold. Nice. And there's our first steam turbine made out of... That's actually lead. Never mind. Alright. Let's decon the ladders. So that we can queue up the rest. We're gonna want... Uh, I guess I'll use copper here. It's so much more abundant than lead now. Feels weird. I'll come to think of it, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll actually want to keep these split which is convenient, because a pipe can handle up to five 
of these steam turbines going at full speed uh, with just one output. So we'll keep it like that. It's going to go over there. It's going to go over there. And this is where our last steam turbine is going to be. Where, oh, where is my Factorio, bro? At Veldak? Just, just say words on stream. He'll be here in no time. Did the summon not work? Alright, let's get some power over here. And that's actually the end of our lead. I'll start using copper for this as well. I don't mind using copper that's 90 something degrees to build up here. But I definitely want it to get a bit cooler before we start using it elsewhere. It's already down to 86.3 though. Is it... The oil isn't actually here, is it? Bruh. Bruh, that... That might help. It might exchange temperature a bit quicker if the oil actually touched. Let's get a little bit more. When's our next copper eruption? Not that we have any need for copper volume-wise, um, but I like to see it happen. Uh, let's see, dormant for 10.2 cycles. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bruh, indeed. Um, we've also got a gold vo volcano down here that I want to tap in the same way, but I want to do a I want to do a neater job, like, I want to build something that's going to look, may, maybe even resemble a little bit uh, the final version of what we could possibly do here. So we're, we're definitely only going to need one steam turbine, I'm pretty confident about that. I wanted to get rid of all this uh, polluted water. But, but, hmm, I mean, it is very slowly off-gassing. What's the amount of liquid, like, what, what's the maximum amount of liquid before you can mop? Too much is 153. This is 52. I'm guessing 100? Too much liquid. Oh, that's a thousand. 226, that's grams. I I'm looking for like 90 something uh, kilograms of water or some, f uh, some liquid so that we could see that we're allowed to mop it. Surprisingly difficult to find. That sound is actually driving me crazy. Building broken? How did it break? Iron ore. No power wire connected. Uh, broken from overheating. Okay. Let's decon that. Is that the reason it's been making that sound? So it was made out of iron ore. Um, gold amalgam might be okay.
I'm still hearing the sound. We haven't gotten that loop of sounds from insufficient oxygen generation before. Starvation? There's 139,000 cake calories. What do you mean, starvation? Calories 971. Kevin, why are you here without a suit? Wait, you just put your suit back on. What do you mean? Is it because slime lung? How did you get slime lung? I don't understand. Oh, what's this? Sterile atmosphere. Hydrogen is sterile. We can use... We can make a big hydrogen fridge in the future. Like a big walk-in fridge like in RimWorld. That's something to think about. Although, I guess... Uh, you could exploit storage by just dropping things on the ground. I decided to make a 6 RPM megabase in Factorio. I aspire to be like you someday. Thank you. Uh, that is quite the compliment. What's our temperature like over here? We're still too hot. What's the temperature in the pipes? 28 degrees. That is within range. It's just that CO2 takes a really long time to equalize. I'm not even seeing any kind of notification or anything when we hear that sound. Oh, we got this built. Um, let's see. I'm looking for organic. That's not it. Can we pick up critters? I think I already looked at this. Trying to figure out if we could pick up, um, hatches, actually. Cooking ingredient. Paku. Nope. Yeah, I don't think we can pick up critters this way. I could have sworn ages ago I saw a video where someone was... Yeah, I was trying to do it here. Someone was trying to pick up uh, hatch. Well, not trying to. They were succeeding. They were picking up hatches whenever there were too many hatches in the room for them to not be glum. Um, I don't know if they have to be wrangled before they could be picked up, but I didn't see any option. Yeah, we literally scrolled through all of this last time. We set it to pick up all, and it didn't pick up any critters. So, is there really just no way in vanilla to automatically manage the critter population? Like on a t-hex slash mic slash slash damsel scale of understanding? Indeed. The three-headed Factorio Chimera. I'm gonna pass out for the stream. Alright, take care, Larius. Thanks for hanging out. And we've we've summoned Danville as well. Uh, Space Monkey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's a different item. Are we talking about the auto-sweeping, or...?
Oh, as opposed... As in it's not the auto sweeper that picks them up? Is it under food? Is it under shipping? Have we not researched it? I imagine we've researched it. The only thing we haven't researched is multiplexing and some space stuff. I'm pretty sure. Just double check. Yeah. The only conveyor belts in this game are the ones that work like pipes, right? It's not like we can push them in a direction or something. Gas element sensor, carbon dioxide. There it is. And this should probably be set to like 20 seconds. It looks like critter drop off. Looks like critter drop off. As in... Is it a building or... Are we looking for something else? The dupes will move them? So is my only option to auto wrangle surplus and have like... Uh, have another room for the critters where they will not survive? Bruh. That's a little disappointing. Uh, doubly disappointing is I can't uh, just drop them off into the steam room we already have. I know it sounds very cruel, but it's not like we have humane options, as far as I'm aware. Um, all of the critters have temperature ranges? And they need food. So, as far as I know, the only way to population control them is heat, cold, or starvation. Unless you move eggs. Yeah, I am moving eggs. Um, but we're going to end up with a number of adults eventually. Alternatively, we could... Well, that's not quite right. Depending on how quickly they reproduce. Like, we could try to manage the dupes not having access to eggs in certain areas. And have a... Have an order to crack every egg. Um, but we keep the dupes from being able to reach the eggs that we want to keep. However, I don't see how we would do that and have um, the critters reachable for grooming and feeding. Michelle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't know. Um... If I make a critter drop off low priority and allow every critter here, does that accomplish our goal? You still haven't been wrangled? Are we ever going to get one of our shove voles wrangled? I wonder. Where's Carenza right now? Carenza. Can, can I not select Carenza? There we go. It's starting to get pretty slow. Um, let's see, follow cam. What are you up to right now? Ranching supply self? What does that mean? Oh, I see. Good job. Um, we're going to put that off for a moment. Let's try bringing Carenza up here. And I'm going to try to sort of get him to stand around until we can wrangle 
um, one of the uh, shove falls. What's our goal? Um, you ban specific people from certain doors. That's a good idea. Uh, our goal, I guess, there's several. Um, what the heck is this? Unreachable. Insufficient resources. Copper. That's not true. We have tons of copper, literally. We have 16.7 tons. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Our PHL streams, good to see you again also. Uh, yeah, so goals that we have right now. Expand our renewable power network all the way to the edge. Um... I think we've already accomplished, but we're still waiting on our copper from our copper volcano to cool down. We've got a cooling loop. Uh, we altered a bit. We turned it around the other way, and it's going to cool off these uh, mushrooms. Oh, more of them are growing now. That's good. Uh, what else? Um, this is longer term, but I want to do a... A nice, neat build to take advantage of this uh, gold volcano as well. Um, and in general, just sort of improve and tidy things up a bit. Oh, I forgot. Where's Carenza? I was just ordering him to move. Follow Cam. Here we go. So what we're going to try to do here is get him to camp the shove of all. And hopefully wrangle the shove of all. Yes! That was shockingly easy. Um, where are you going? Well, I don't really mind, as long as you come back and pick up the shove vault before it starts moving again. Copper is unreachable? It shouldn't be. Um, it would explain why this hasn't been built yet. Why is it unreachable? Because there's no oxygen here, because I changed that earlier. Okay. Um, how about... What the heck is this? What a mess. That goes here, and I haven't reconnected this. So that should be fine, question mark? Oh, speaking of reconnecting things. That's probably why our oxygen generation has been allegedly insufficient for a while. Alright, that's gonna charge up an Atmo suit pretty quick. Oh, hello. Delectable. Uh, I do have this set up to accept both types of shove vol. Yes, I have. So we've got the metal tiles because apparently the shove vols can't go through them. What are you doing here? Can we please pick this guy up? I think I... S when I clicked on him before, he had a priority, but now he doesn't. Oh, um, I know. Let's make sure this is prioritized. Okay. Errands. Nothing. It's about to be morning. Oh, and uh, Buvim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is no one coming for our poor little shove bowl? 
I guess not. I still have no idea what is causing that sound. Here we go. What are we printing? Ranching, researching, decorating, tidying, cooking, suit wearing? Decreased husbandry? Increased morale bonus, cannot decorate, immune to food poisoning. Uh, Ashken, you are a winner. Farming, suit wearing, decorating, increased science, iron gut as well, increased medicine. Uh, you're good too, but Ashken wins. Uh, and let me just make sure... I think I need to reactivate the channel point reward. To name a dupe. There we go. Okay. This has no power. It's not supposed to right now. Does that mean we've seen the last of the shove vols messing things up over here? Nope. No, we have not. We'll try to wrangle that one day. And here we go. Let's see if the room can contain them. Uh, do we have food for them? I think we do. Delectable, shovel, regolith. Yes. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, we've got nasty air in here. I don't think the shove balls, I'm sure the shove balls don't care about that, but the dupes do. Food has decayed. Surely that's not what that sound is about. Building lacks resources? That's definitely not it. We've had that before. Oh, and let's get ourselves some crude oil. Damsel is on the case. Fantastic. Wait, why did it just change? The job was literally already happening. Whatever, slow to bring us that oil. It's actually quite a long trip. Fantastic. Alright, that'll be enough oil to equalize the temperature with the copper faster. Much better. Food has decayed critter starvation. Well don't really need these adults right now. Did that shove vol escape already? I don't think our metal files are keeping the critters in. Or maybe it's the heavy what conductive joint plate? No, they're going straight through the manual airlock. If they can go through a manual airlock, then I don't see how we contain them. Having copper on the metal tile would help too. On the metal tile. As in... If this was a metal tile? Yeah, I think you're right about that. Um, I'm a little scared if I block swap it. Well, I can't actually block swap it. The copper would fall down here and we'd lose our oil as well. So I might change that after... 
Well, I don't really think there's going to be any need to change it after it equalizes. I think it is going to keep up. Um, because this is... This is 14.8 tons of copper that's slowly cooling. Um, the extra copper that comes from here that's going to be hotter is going to... It's not going to have that much thermal mass. Okay. What the... Oh, the ice is melting. Wait, the ice is melting? That doesn't sound right. When we're running the AETN here 24-7. Very strange. Okay. What about our... What is that sound? I'd really like to know. Our build here is actually getting fairly close to finished. Uh, why don't we use copper for this now that it's so much more common? It does... You reversed the flow so the hotter gas is thawing the ice. Oh, true. Good point. How hot is it? Negative three degrees? Oh, 29 degrees. Yeah, 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 that does make sense. Well, as long as the oil isn't gonna wash away. I mean, I was gonna say it'd be okay if this was water, but that's not true. Oh, the oil is washing away. Uh, I hope this tile will still have oil is all I can... Nope. Never mind. On the plus side, uh, the copper has cooled down a bit. What a snot, indeed. Uh, I'm surprised how hot this is getting. Oh, it's probably because it's had hot water piped through it. Yeah. We're actually completely full on our liquid reservoir. So we're not going to have nearly as much heat coming in that way either. All right. Just use deconstruct buildings. Fantastic. That's right, we were going to use copper radiant pipes here. Um, like this, I think. And that's going to go back this way. gonna take a little while. Might as well remove all the ice. Uh, I don't really see the need. I hope water doesn't find its way down here though. Uh, maybe I should make sure that doesn't happen. Oblitrax, welcome welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Last time I played, I was pretty rough with my dupes. I had them mine every ounce of slime and sanitize the world of slime lung. Fair enough. Alright, I might take a little break there. Uh, let's save just in case something terrible happens. And we'll throw up some words on stream. Uh, no one's claimed the dupe yet, have they? Uh, 
name of Pawn. Last one was S Vader. Okay, cool. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. We'll start words on stream. About 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Wait, what? Uh, okay, we'll just start now then. Okay. 
Let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. Alright, I still have no idea what is causing that sound. Uh, it's pretty annoying, to be honest. That there's just absolutely nothing. There's, there's no hint as to what this sound means. What is... Oh, I need a... I need a gym for Ashken. He's rather slow right now. Okay, let's get... We've actually still got... Oh no. This was supposed to be only specific people. We've had people run... Is it because this thing keeps losing power? Is that what this is? Surely not. Let, let's check the stats. Boovim, Asim Vader, Damsel. Uh, Asim Vader's Athletics is 7. He's the... Okay, that's terrible, actually. I thought Ashkin... I thought Asim Vader was the new one for a second, because... Athletics, negative 4? What? Is that because he's wearing a suit and he's got low athletics? Bruh. Uh, Damsel is athletics 9. She's getting there. Alright, so... Uh, Boovim, let's see. Boovim, athletics 18. You're well and truly graduated uh, from the from the gym okay ash can ash can you can use the gym uh, I need to give you oh that's why I had operating so high for damsel and asim Veda I forgot about that okay uh, let's see. Digging? What's Ashken's deal again? Ashken... Uh, oh, I can't see his traits from here. He's into grilling, suit wearing, and tidying. But he's way, way, way better at digging at the moment. Alright, let's just put him on nothing... But uh, machine operating for the moment. Should be on his way already. I hope. Oh wait, I need to activate this. And it should have top priority. There we go. Uh, Benwu and Evil Pa shouldn't still be here. Get out of here. You've leveled up enough. That's some Veda. It's on the case. Ashken is... Okay, so that... We've ruled out that as a cause for the sound. Uh, let's see. Chilly surroundings. Ashken, what are you doing? Alright, off you go. Wait. Oh, right, this door is one way. That's fine. Fantastic. Invalid construction location. That's definitely not it. Food has decayed. We didn't hear the sound. I'm honestly just waiting for that sound to see if we can tell what it is.
I would have guessed it's something like batteries hitting zero, but that doesn't seem to be happening. In fact, we're getting to the point of running a few of our natural gas generators simultaneously. Did you want it spoiled because someone said something? Uh, yeah, I don't mind finding out what the hell this sound is. That's driving me crazy. Also, how... I guess... I'll, I'll try not having... Wait, no, they can get through the manual airlock, so what the hell am I supposed to do there? Someone said steam generator turning off. Oh, is it because... Surely not. I can force this one to turn off. Um, no, that's not it. We just got two of those noises back to back. I don't know how much you should trust us though. Yeah, apparently. What could cause that sound back to back? Take free steel. I should look at the battery charge whenever we hear that. It's empty. Okay, is that it? Is there not an option to not hear that sound whenever the battery hits zero? It just triggered that sound when it got to full. I have a feeling that's not it. I, I hope that's not it. Okay, that's not it. What is something you've built recently that is as new as the sound? I think I've heard the sound before, I just never registered what it was uh, consciously. But like... I don't know. Okay, it just happened. What possibilities are there? Far too many. Far, far, far too many. Batteries are pretty much full. Unless it's a different battery network. Oh, hold on. Potential load greater than... That's potential load. Would it make that sound when it goes over? It's at 1500 now. Okay, it didn't change. Do we have another power network like that? I don't think so. Do we have batteries that are not... that are empty right this second? These are full. These are not empty. This is not empty. This is not empty. Um, did you set up an alarm and forgot about it? No, the only alarm I've got is, uh, to tell us when, also, I don't think that sound isn't available if we use these automated notifiers. Meteors, asteroids are, asteroids are coming, meteors have stopped. Which is it? I think it's meteors, right? I kind of expect... Can they not reach this? Why are disconnected? Oh, hold on. It's not this one, is it? 
Surely it wouldn't make a sound every time we trigger this. That That's just too much, man. That doesn't seem to be it. Also, I never got to disconnecting this. The whole point being... Uh, if the battery here gets low enough. Green signal when 0%. Red signal when 100%. Uh, wait, what? We got power. And we want to export the power only if this is full. Oh, is there a not gate? Or did I forget the not gate? Red signal when 100% charged. I think I forgot a not gate here. Uh, let's see. That should be fine. So it'll be green signal when fully charged. Uh, red signal if it drops to 50%. So basically, the power that this area generates prioritizes itself so that it doesn't suffer the doors closing slowly. Or anything like that. Have you ever thought about a Captain of Industry playthrough? Uh, not really, to be honest. It doesn't strike me as my kind of game. The real gold hand. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wish I had the slightest clue where that sound comes from. Did we not get this working? Sending a red signal because it's not detecting CO2. Hmm. Well. You have heard of the game, but don't like it. Yeah, I mean, just, I don't know, the the aesthetic, the theme of it doesn't really uh, catch my eye that much. Besides, I've got, uh, I've, I've already got enough factory game to neglect. Didn't play through enough uh, Dyson Sphere program to really give it a fair go, I think. But that didn't really hit me that much either. I don't hear any sound. You don't hear that sound. That one right there. It's very. It's hard to describe. Um, but it's like a very aggressive something is wrong or weird kind of sound. Like, it sounds like the kind of thing you'd hear if power collapses, maybe? But we've had power problems and we haven't heard this all the time before. I hear game sounds? Indeed? Uh, I, I seriously doubt it's like a... I don't think this sound could be coming any, from anywhere but oxygen not included. Like, the design of the sound is very Oni. If that makes sense. It seems to be getting less common. And there it is again. Hmm. Not saying that's what it is, just that 
that's what it makes me think of? Sounds like an extreme version of the short circuit. Maybe it's some dupe suffering and calling for help? I mean, our dupes are all fine. And we'd be finding out because they go to the bathroom or something. It's not a torture can. Our copper is down to a chilly 63 degrees, which is nice. Surely it's nothing to do with this. I would hate to have to change it. We w we watched this earlier, though. I think I just saw that go green the moment... No, it was a coincidence. I'm pretty sure. And there it is again. Okay, I'm gonna try... Uh, I'm gonna try what? I want to disconnect this uh, this wire a bit. Where is it getting its power from? Oh, is this it? Hold on, what? No, there's two. There's two power transformers, so it can definitely do two thousand watts. Is it when this thing tries to start up? Current load 1500. No, it's running. I was thinking maybe when it tries to use too much power. 1530 plus 240, 770. It's not even close. Seventeen seventy. Weren't we looking at this wire before when we heard the sound? Is it just me or is it happening more and more? It varies. I really don't know. Oh, is this it? No, this would this would be only happening during a certain part of the day. It's not even connected. So no, that's definitely not the problem. Why that hatch is tied up? Uh, probably because auto-wrangling. Because I was trying to automatically uh, pick up the hatches earlier. T-Hax is just trying to make us go all, in all go insane? It's... no! It's driving me insane. I don't want this sound. How do I remove this? Where do I find this sound file to just delete it? It it really does provide no hint as to what the problem is. Oh, is it this power network? It's very flickery with the display. Potential load 2050. Okay. Is that it? We're definitely not using that 480 watts most of the time. Like, almost it. Come on, say blur again. Oh, that's a different power wire as well. What is this? No power consumers. Oh. Because there are no power consumers. Is it when they finish one of the steam gens up top? Uh, what do you mean when they finish? There it is again. It's 
Let's copy settings across here. We don't need the uh, notifications for the most part. Finish building a new one of the generators. Um, there's only a handful of generators that we're trying to build right now. It's not when they build an insulated tile and then it says this is an invalid spot to build because we've had this happen like 50 times. Surely it wouldn't make that sound every time food decays. I'm pretty sure we would have heard it a lot more by now. Okay, I'm going to try something here. We're not going to allow anyone in this room. And if the sound stops, we know it's something to do with this. That shove bowl escaped successfully? Yeah, it did. They go str I, I thought maybe the heavy watt joint plate isn't good enough, but they go straight through the uh, uh, the airlock. So what am I supposed to do there? Like, yeah, look at that, straight through the airlock, and there's that sound. Oh, damsel is still here. Wait, what? Did damsel just run through the night? Okay, so no one is allowed access in here. If we hear the sound, we know we can rule this out. And if we don't hear it, uh, we have an idea what it might be. I hate debugging inconsistent stuff like this. We're just holding our breath, seeing if it'll happen. It doesn't seem to be happening. Was that really it? Can we really not use up some of this power when we have the dupes use the gym with a one-way wire? It's so peaceful. I'm gonna laugh if it's the noise of the lights burning out from loss of power. Yeah, something like that. I guess we could put different lights, maybe. <laughs> Alright. I, I don't think we got that sound before. There it is again. Okay. But is it my... I mean... It's definitely been less frequent, but that could be a coincidence. I think you're talking about noise dupes make when they jump off the wheels. Okay, let's look at the wheels. There's no one on this one right now. Vivim is running off this way. These are the only two wheels, I'm pretty sure, now that we've made these ones inaccessible. Is that it? 
Really? And if so, how have I been so desensitized to it in the past? Like, I never noticed it before today, but it might just be because they're jumping on and off it every five seconds. Um, maybe because of the gym? I don't know. Five wheels versus one? Yeah. Well, I mean, I had the gym set up so that they would just run indefinitely to get their athletics up. Okay. These are all of our wheels, and we just heard the sound again. Um, unless I forgot about one somewhere. Are there any other wheels? That we've forgotten about? This is wild. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I would have been surprised if, like, if we'd had this sound all along, and I only just started being bothered by it today. I don't see any wheels anywhere else. Um... Don't tell me it's the power shut off. I couldn't... I couldn't cope with that. No, I think we were watching the power shut off earlier. And that wasn't it. And it, if, it, if it was the power shut off, we wouldn't get it happening twice in a row like that. How did it match up perfectly with that dupe jumping off? Big coincidence. That's all. I'm pretty sure. It's not the power shut off. What the heck is it? Okay. With the design of that sound, I feel like it's trying to tell us something about power. So what if... What is this? That looks fine, actually. That looks more than fine. Did I just see yellow here? Okay, what was that? Is it when this circuit goes purple-bluish? No? We're really diving into starting to develop superstitions about what this could possibly be at this point. What's the issue? That sound that we just heard. We have no idea what's causing it. Manky Kitty, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems like a really big problem. Indeed. Indeed it is. I just don't know. Did we have this sound at the start of the stream? I don't think so, I want to say. When it happens, pause the game and check every dupe. Alright. Wait, why did we just put a shove vol in here? Oh no, we wrangled. We auto-wrangled surplus? Wait, is that what I have to do to keep shove vols contained? Like have rooms around rooms that allow no critters and auto wrangle surplus
so we keep catching them when they inevitably escape. Normal doors contain shove balls. Really? You're kidding. It's the one that sounds kind of like a muffled can of coins being shaken one time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can they get through the heavy watt conductive joint plate? We've already got one inside the door. Also, I guess we need an auto miner in here. Helps to have an auto miner in the room. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, utilities? No. I, I could go and copy one, but I want to try and commit to memory uh, which category it's under. Refinement? No. Uh, is it shipping? It's shipping. Okay. So we need a pair of these. Oh, of course that just barely doesn't fit. Okay, let's move the shearing station. And the auto miner. It's gonna have to be here. And we need one to reach the edge over here as well. Excuse me. I don't remember voles being shearable. Um, that's a good point. Let, let me just double check. Eat regolith collected on... Oh, no, no, it wasn't the voles. It's the delecta voles. Um, bodies sprout shearable tonic root. which is edible. Okay, and one of these over here, please. What? What do you mean, what? Delectable. It's a subspecies. There's one right here, actually. Never heard of it, me noob? We got one randomly pretty early, actually. Tonic root, indeed. So, how are we going to get this delectable? <laughs> Picky eater all done. Okay, question. Have we ever heard that sound when the dupes are asleep? How much calories is tonic root? Uh, let's see. Tonic root. Doesn't tell us. I can't even search it. Really? Huh. Yep, there's that sound. Alright. It's probably already too late to see what the dupes are up to. Um, is there a better way to flick through them one by one? Like, I can click on them here, but it's really inconsistent and slow. We got order fabricate store rock We've got someone looking very uncomfortable. Uh what else? Who 
Raven is in the tube. My trim is on a pole. Evil Claw is here. Kevin is heading out this way. Geldek is on the pole. Sloder is on the pole. Karenza is in the natural gas room. Ben Wu, I think we saw her already. No, nope, but he's here. Whiskers. Yep, no clue. Save load might help with the vol issue? How so? Is it the sound for decaying food? I certainly hope not. It's very obnoxious if that's the case. Food has decayed too. I think we looked at this notification when the sound was happening before. It's still the same two pieces of food. Insufficient oxygen generation. Building lacks resources is nothing new. Food has decayed, disappeared down to one. No change. No change in anything. That's a sound from automation, if I recall correctly. Something is being turned off slash on. Can we not have that sound when we turn something off or on? I've been using automation for ages and I haven't heard that sound before. We looked at the... Uh... We looked at the power switch already. Doesn't seem to be it. Wait, no, no, this wouldn't be it. There's an automation wire here not connected to anything, but that doesn't matter. We've done that before. It just gives a red signal. That's not it. Could it be? I just don't know. Oh, we got the Delectable in there. Wait. Oh crap, we're taking all the vol eggs. Um, stop doing that now. Where are the vol eggs? Yeah, we probably don't want to eat every shove vol egg for the, for the moment. We still... Oh, okay. 
I was gonna say, we still don't have a proper flow of coolant here, but yeah, we kind of do. It seems like every time the dupes stop working, we stop hearing that sound. Is this right? Okay, so it should kick in in a few seconds, probably. Or not. really don't know. So we're getting like, oh, there it is. We're getting like half a cycle of peas. And then it starts again. Oh hey, we got our steam turbines finished. Uh, let's use lead for this one. Wait, did it say there wasn't enough lead? Oh, there isn't enough lead. Why does it say there's only 22 copper available? We actually used up the copper? Really? Is that... Is that so? We're getting some more in... 0.9 cycles, actually. It wouldn't make that sound if they're trying to pick up a resource... ...to build something that we've planned out that there isn't a resource available for, right? You had tons? Yeah. Oh, here it is. 21 tons of... How? How... D How did our copper get down here? What? What the... What? What? It was here. And now it's... Now it's here. And it's 21 tons... Wait, wait. It's how much? Oh, it's 21 kilos. That's barely anything. I don't know how we ended up with some of it here, but I guess we did consume it. Um, but yeah, we're getting more in 0.9 cycles, actually. Very weird. How's our temp? Getting there. How about these mushrooms? There's more of them growing, which is promising. How many eggs do we have in here? One, two... Three, 
Hmm. I kind of want to just get rid of the older Paku right now. Is that a different kind of Paku? No. Okay. Combat? Oh, right. Combat. It does seem to be keeping the, uh, the shove vols in with the pneumatic door. That is bizarre. Now that they're not a complete nuisance, they're kind of cute. Did that ice block forming cause the copper to be deleted? I don't think it deletes it. And besides, it fell on the wrong tile for that. The copper was here. It comes out of the conveyor chute. Speaking of which, uh, 0.4 cycles until this erupts. All right. Uh, I still haven't gotten rid of this stupid water. Let's just do it like this. Oh, where is this going? Right, I forgot. Uh, we were putting it in our reservoir, but there's um, there's actually no room left. Hmm. Well, would this allow us to mop up most of this? No. Oh, I didn't realize just how much of this we'd built. I was distracted by the fact that we ran out of copper. But, uh, we're just about ready here. So, this part's wrong because we need a gas bridge, actually. I mean, a liquid bridge. And insulated pipe. Let's just copy whatever material we used before. And then we need a uh, liquid vent. Uh, and we need this thing. I guess I'll use iron. By far the most plentiful for now. To go down here. And... I think I'll keep this ladder in case we want to do something around here. In which case... That's actually kind of in the way. Whatever, we'll just do it like this. Alright, so in that case, the pipe is going to go down here. And like this. And I can already link this up like so. That should be fine. We're probably going to have to add some oil to the reservoir, maybe. Feels kind of weird and awesome that we are almost ready here. Someone will probably get themselves trapped. The sound, is it my imagination or is the sound getting less common? Take some iron.
Why is it this spot in particular? Oh, it's fertilization. It's not temperature anymore. Okay, it's still temperature in some places, but still. Okay, then. Oh, we're mopping up the polluted water now. Good. Get it out of here. And here's some more copper. It's actually kind of hard to spot. 449 kilos at 108 degrees. The fact that it's only 108 degrees when it just dropped here, it's not too bad. It's actually cooling down relatively quickly. Despite the fact that we don't have any oil here. So, what, maybe a bit less than half a ton per cycle, it seems like we're looking at? That's not too bad. Should probably dig this out, so it doesn't conduct heat. I can probably connect that already, actually. Yeah, I can connect that. Okay. The dupes have their work cut out for them to finish this up. Quite a lot of pipe still to lay. But we're getting very close. Very close indeed. Oh, really? Okay. Evil Pla, good try trying to get yourself stuck. Good try. Actually, I guess there's no reason to have a wall there. Unreachable build. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's fix that, shall we? Let's make sure that's vacuum. It is vacuum. Fantastic. Copy settings. And I'd kind of like them to get this part done so that I don't have to pay attention to it. Seems good. Looks like you will vent gas still. Uh, Yes, but not for not very much or not for too long. Don't mesh tiles allow more light through than windows? Uh yeah, but the windows are made of diamond, so if anything somehow gets through, uh it it they're extremely tough. Um It's probably not gonna matter so much now that we've like 
figured this all out and it's working smoothly. But it did stop a few meteors from smashing through here and wrecking everything a while ago. Electrocutor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that is hydrogen. Oh, uh, can we pray this? Uh, maybe a little less high here. We are leaking a little bit of hydrogen, but it's quite slow. We're not bringing more in either, so the gas pressure is going to keep dropping. So we'll lose less and less hydrogen over time. Beep, 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 beep. Made a mess. Uh, Boovim is stuck. There we go. Boovim is still stuck. Um, what is what's this material? Granite. Let's make it out of granite. There we go. So how does it work when he makes a mess in his suit, anyway? Uh, I guess it just deletes the polluted water, perhaps? Or did it come out down here? Doesn't, judging by where he was standing, I think the answer is no. But I can't be sure. Alright, let's... Uh, dig this out so that we can mop up that water. Come to think of it. I might just leave that liquid pipe there for now. Lol stuck indeed. Alright, how's our space build looking? We got SM Vader running relatively slowly to pick up this rock. Almost finished our pipes, actually. Very, very good. Um, and we don't strictly need the last steam turbine before we get this thing going. Probably a good idea to have the last Robo Miner built, though. We've got 6.5 tons of steel, so that shouldn't be a problem. Is this not powered? How is that not powered? Oh, because the no? Wait, what? How is this one specifically not powered? Current state locked. The wire is not damaged or anything. Hmm. That's rather weird. That neutronium has something in it, but we can never get it. Bruh. It's digging off the edge of the map. Didn't know that was possible. Can anyone tell me why this bunker door is powered, but this one is not? I'm rather confused about that one. Conductive wire made out of iron. It looks like two different wires. Should I use the snippy and mess around with it? 
Conductive wire. Conductive wire. Conductive wire. Now it's connected? Okay. That's weird. Um, can we get... Oh, right. I don't actually have access to this. Um, okay, I'm just going to set this as a high priority. Um, how do I... I want this in particular to be high priority. And this not so much. You could just build a ladder on the outside. Uh, for this part? Oh, I can't actually get there because neutronium. And there's our last steam turbine. Copy, settings, there we go. Alright, so we're going to let some steam through. Um, just like we did with the hydrogen, we're just going to rebuild this as quickly as we can. Cryo maximum. Fantastic. I'm actually, I think I've said this before, but I'm really surprised how little steam it takes for the steam engines to work. Uh, steam turbines, I should say. Alright. Uh, can we get this built so that I can fix the loop? What are we printing? Steel? Easy choice. Uh, also, I hadn't heard that mesh tiles allow more light through than windows, now that I think of it. Um, let's see. Where's the display for it? Well, I would need a mesh tile to compare it. Also, the solar panels reach max power anyway, so it's not going to make much of a difference. Fantastic. What are we waiting on here? Nothing. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's decon that. And... And we're getting just a little bit of steam consumption over this side now. Nice. I think we are ready to open this up. So last step is automation wire across here. If we want to be a little bit dramatic, we could snippy this until it's all built and then open it up all at once. Fantastic. Oh, we're up to 1.5. Wait, why is there copper here? Probably because I deconstructed something. Uh, 1.5 ton of copper again, that's good. And there's that sound again. Alright, 
Let's sweep that. Oh, and we need some oil over here. Uh, so that the robo miners can exchange heat with the pipes, with the tiles underneath them. Sounds like what happens when a tape measure spool breaks, indeed. Okay. Uh, automation wire. Here it comes. With any luck, it'll be done before the media's stop. Nope, not even close. Is he stuck? Uh, yeah, he is. Ceiling collapse. Wait, what? No, it isn't. The trim just chilling while the Marubo miners do their job. Yeah, I am glad. Well, it, it was kind of necessary, but I'm glad we've got two on either side of each solar panel. Otherwise, it would take a bit of time. Oh, are we done? Nope, not even close. Uh, let's prior construction here. Fantastic. Let's pay attention somewhere else until that's done. Can we finally mop this up? Nope. Keep dreaming. Just gonna mark that for deconstruction as well. How's our temp? Getting nice and chilly on this side. We're down to a mere 41 degrees over here. There's a lot of thermal mass over this side. And the, uh, the liquid cooling loop can't go here. So it's going to take a while longer to cool off. But our mushrooms are well and truly bottlenecked on fertilization and not room temperature now. So that's an improvement. Now, if only I could get dirt at a higher rate. Uh, it would probably help if we still had... If we still had pips. That, that would probably help a lot, actually. Sweeping, or not even sweeping, but uh, just putting stuff away is slowly getting done, so that's nice. Literally all of our natural gas generators are running at the same time. I'm, I'm really looking forward to when we actually accumulate. Oh, we're ready. Let's do it. Open sesame. And here we go. I'm surprised how much, how many of these steam turbines are active at the same time. Especially considering that half of the regolith wasn't allowed to drop yet. Uh, and now they're closing. <laughs> nice timing. Uh, but yeah, we need a bottle emptier somewhere around here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. 
um, robo miners that we need to give some oil so that they can transfer heat. So why don't we just build a bottle emptier in the middle here? And we'll just let the crude oil that we've got in jerry cans already uh, spread out across here. What can you do with the exhaust gases you've been venting? Uh, I was using them to help cool this stuff before I started using drywall and a little bit of oil uh, so that the radiant pipes would transfer heat from the robo miners. Um, basically we just have waste gas come out right next to the machines that we want to keep cool. Uh, I don't know what else we could be using them for. But what are those waste gases? Uh, mostly CO2 and polluted oxygen. Um, I'm using... I'm venting the, uh, the polluted oxygen from this room. Oh, and the... What is it? Carbon dioxide? That comes from the natural gas generators? Uh, I'm also venting carbon dioxide from way down below instead of using a carbon skimmer. Um, it's just easier and like there are fewer inputs and outputs. Carbon skimmer wants water in, polluted water out, generates heat, uh, deletes carbon dioxide anyway. The carbon dioxide just vanishes. So basically to make 300 grams of carbon dioxide vanish, we're putting in, we're polluting a kilogram of water, not to mention the power. Whereas uh, we could pay 240 watts to delete 500 grams of carbon dioxide without messing around with the water. I feel like there's a use for CO2. There's a couple of uses. What happens when you drop the temp to a solid for CO2? Is that even... Carbon dioxide... There we go. Carbon dioxide gas, negative 48 degrees, uh, and we would get oxygen and carbon, right? Negative 48 degrees. So what happens exactly at negative 48 degrees? Carbon. Carbon gas, liquid at 4800 degrees, carbon solid, why can't I look up carbon, here we go, refined carbon solid, is refined carbon just carbon, like, uh, like the refined copper we're getting? Can I, can I make refined carbon without using coal? Just by freezing it? It's a source of pea water though? I mean, we don't have any shortage of pea water. Where would we do this? Probably down here? It's already at negative 33 degrees, the machine is. What's the gas at? Negative 32.7. So 
So if we can get this to negative, what was it, 40 something? Negative 48.1 degrees. I would have to get rid of all this polluted oxygen that's in the way. And carbon dioxide would naturally find its way down here. Um, if we could get rid of the polluted oxygen. I mean, I could put a... It might not be the worst idea, actually. Let's just try it this way. Instead of doing a big fancy build, let's put deodorizers here. And the idea is the oxygen would find its way up here, maybe? I don't know. Create a vacuum by pulling all the gas out. Encase the machine with insulated tiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we haven't been running it that long. I'm curious to see how cold it'll get without even trying that. Uh, if it gets to negative 48, all the better. The negative 48 won't affect the hydrogen. That'll be fine right down to almost absolute zero, if I recall correctly. Hydrogen gas. Negative, two, negative 252. It's like 20 above absolute zero. And what about natural gas coming past here? Is that going to have a problem? Natural gas, probably not going to get cold enough anyway. Negative uh, 161 is where it turns to liquid. It's pretty cold. And the gas comes out at... 150 degrees, so it would be difficult... Come to think of it, I should have had insulated pipe for the natural gas coming up through the base. It's fine. So yeah, we're going to clean the oxygen in this area. May as well just put deodorizers all over the place, to be honest. It only costs filtration medium to run it, and a little tiny bit of power. Uh, and we have a regolith, which counts as filtration medium. So... I think we can go completely ham on filters. Put those wherever we want. Um, but yeah, I would like to turn all of this polluted oxygen into oxygen. How about here as well? Can I select the deodorizer? There we go. Oh wow, that's faster than I thought. That is a lot faster than I thought. It's really more limited by airflow than anything else. Let's have a look at our space build. Uh, it's doing quite well, actually. We're actually getting 300, 250, 330... About 300 or 280 or something watts on average from all these steam turbines. Um, all but the one that's not working right now. And it's not working because of steam temp. It's not like... Uh, 
It's not like it's overheated or something. Cool. How much steam do we have? Uh, 38 kilograms? 71 kilograms? That's a pretty big difference. 94 kilograms over here? I get that the, uh, the output pipes are... are, like, just here and here, but still. Well, this one's working anyway. Yeah, I think we've probably... Oh. I thought I enabled Auto Bottle to bring more... To bring more water over here before, but I didn't. And apparently this is still enough steam. Okay. Used to create gas storage rooms with a couple deodorizers? With deodorizers? Filter out the various gases after pumping everything from top, uh, from the bottom of the base into the room. That makes sense. Cool. Uh, how much power do we have? It tells us the load, not how much we're making. But once all of these solar panels are active, we're going to find out. We should have enough time during this cycle to finish this dig and see the solar panels working at maximum. So that'll be 380 times 8. Uh, that is 3 kilowatts. Um, not counting the steam turbines. And that's just constant and free. That's pretty good. I wonder if it's enough to... Uh, to get it so that we get a surplus of natural gas over time. Very nice. But now it's night time. Down go the solar panels. I'm actually really surprised how long... Maybe, maybe it isn't overkill having this many steam turbines. I, I'm surprised how long they're running for and with so many of them. Probably should have a battery bank. The batteries do waste power, but not a whole lot. And they produce heat, which we can recycle. Um, if I put the batteries in here, the heat from the batteries will uh, be turned into power. I wish I could easily do the math. 500 DTUs, I imagine it sounds like it should be more than 400 joules over an entire cycle. So if I put, if that's true, and I'm not saying it is, but if that's true, if I put batteries in the steam room, we're actually printing more power. Because they'll produce more heat than they leak energy. Five hundred DTUs. What is a DTU exactly? Dupe thermal units? And how much is that? Does five hundred D like, 500 DTUs is continuous, right? 400 joules a cycle is really, really not much. So I wouldn't be shocked if 
if we put this in a steam room, it actually prints power for us. They recreated their own units, indeed. I could have sworn from some movie or something. Was it The Matrix? Something something DTUs of body heat? Liquid crude oil and go. I'm going to try and look it up real quick. DTU. Yeah, I only see a reference to clay entertainment forums. Body heat. Blah, blah, blah. Thermal energy DTU. Oh, that's some company. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, can we hurry up and get this done? Nope, it's night time. Of course we can't get that done. It's just for this game, yeah. So, how much is a unit, though? What's the temperature like here? It's still hot. Unsurprising. We're still trying or we're still wasting power trying to actively cool it. Which uh I mean we seem to have the power to spare now. BTU is how it's normally measured. Okay. BTU. Three hundred and thirty BTUs every hour based on a two thousand calorie per day diet. British thermal units. Raise the temperature of one pound of liquid can we use real units? One pound of liquid water by one degree Fahrenheit? Uh it hurts. Well, I can still get a rough idea just from that. Oh, hello. One BTU equals 1,055 joules. Uh, so if a DTU is similar, This is giving us way more power back than the power leak. Am I wrong? Matrix, originally they used us for CPU, but they thought people couldn't grasp that, so they changed it. That's unfortunate, considering how little sense it makes. Okay. I mean, of all the ways to generate heat, heat is like the, the, the waste energy that you can't avoid. I'm going to be rather amused if, if my estimate is right about this. So, so you're actually telling me the Matrix was, um, it, it broadened its appeal for a wider audience, and that's why it doesn't make any sense. I'm curious to see how it works out. If it does, I'll look into doing these Steam Rooms as well, indeed. Yeah, I mean, where am I looking here? Calculator.net says 1 BTU is 1,055 joules. If a DTU is the same, 
and we're spitting out 500 DTUs of heat and losing a whopping 400 joules per entire cycle, um, then that is giving us back way more power. The executives made the call, figures. I'm having a surprisingly tough time getting a little bit of oil over here. I like how the media stopped just in time for morning, that's very considerate. Okay, priorities, nine, again. Let's have a peek down here. Can we get rid of this water? Really? Okay, how about this then? I just want the polluted water not to flow down here somewhere when we do this build, that's all. We did make this out of steel, right? Yeah, good. Uh, that That is the one downside. Even if this does give us free power, um, we do have to make it out of steel if it's going to not overheat. Because everything else just gives us plus 50... Uh, overheat temperature at best, which is exactly the same temperature at which the steam is minimum temperature for the steam turbines to use. But at this stage, we're really not having any trouble with steel. Like, at all, actually. It's probably the dev's way of preventing exploiting. What temp do the batteries stop working? Uh, they don't, um, really. It's overheat temperature. They'll start taking damage, as far as I know. So, we have to build it out of steel because we have to get the overheat temperature um, above, like, 127 degrees. Which, unfortunately, me means we have to go all out and pump it up to 275 because of our material options. But yeah, it's fine. I also quite like the idea of just happening to have a good spot to fit our battery banks here. And the fact, the idea that we're rewarded, not punished for spamming more of them. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. What temperature does the metal refinery work at? Liquid intake pipe, liquid output. I think this is one of those things where you have to go to the wiki to find out uh, how cold the coolant has to be for it to work. May need more steam turbines at this rate. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's look at the steam temperature. Oh wow, 128 degrees it peaked at. You may be right. Each battery does have drain that adds up though. Yeah, but the heat that the battery produces, uh, and that heat goes into the steam turbines, massively outperforms the power leak is what we've been theorizing. Um, 400 joules per cycle is not a whole lot. 500 DTUs per second. If it's anything like a BTU, that is 1,055 joules times 500. Um, 
So 500,000 joules per second versus 400 joules per cycle. Jumbo batteries store more power and produce more heat? I thought the smart batteries stored more power. Uh, power capacity 20, power capacity 40. And it produces more heat, you're right. We'd still... We'd have to spend more steel on them. We're getting the same amount of power storage per steel. Um, but we are getting more heat per steel. Um, but yeah, much to my surprise, um, we're going to have to pay attention to the steam temperature here. 132 degrees on the, on this spot. I don't know what the limit is. If we're doing self-cooling steam turbines, um, we can't let the steam get that hot. I think you get extra... Yeah, steam temp below 125 now. Hmm. I'm really surprised how hot this is. Can we hurry up and get this oil delivered? Oh, I have to enable auto bottling, I think. Fire Pickle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've run out of these uh, crude oil barrels that we already had stored. So now the jeeps have to come from all the way down into the oil biome uh, to supply this. And we're using oil just because we need a fluid that won't evaporate at these temperatures and oil is cheap. I don't need to know that there's no automation wire connected here. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll probably leave this as is for a while and just confirm whether or not we're going to have overheat problems with the steam turbines, but it looks like no. We're at 98.5 on this one. Ninety-eight point four, ninety-eight point three, ninety-eight point six. The steam isn't even as hot here. That's weird. That is a little strange. Should I, or should I not join these, uh... If I could get it to drop a quarter instead of half of the water out from here, I think that would be better. I guess I could do half and half up at every other steam turbine. We get an even ratio of dropping the water back in this way. Let's try that. So that's not where that would normally be. How about here? And we'll have that come down here. And I will not be adding the liquid vent until we fix this up. There we go. Yeah, I can definitely tolerate 50-50. That should probably not be a... Yeah, Radiant is fine here, actually. It leaks five times as much for less heat production. Oh. For the, for the jumbos? Uh, leaked... Yeah, five times as much leak for 
two and a bit times as much heat. Or about three times as much heat, actually. Three and a bit. Wait, no, it's it was two and a half times as much heat. So yeah, you're right. That's not as not as efficient for our purposes. Good to know. I'm a little tempted to go ham on these batteries. We've got 8.2 tons of steel right now. That's two tons. We could fill the whole thing. I'm gonna do it. Worst that could happen is we overdo it and the steam turbines can't self-cool and we have to reset it, which we've done before. There really isn't a negative outside the material cost, indeed. Oh. Uh, I thought we ran out of lead, but that's fine. We've still got 3.6 tons. I'll, I'll keep 3 tons of steel available for other purposes. Uh, let's use iron for this. I'm, I'm gonna need a bridge over here. Conductive wire bridge. So what if it leaks more when it stores more? Uh, then we would get more heat. And either we would need more steam turbines to delete heat fast enough to not overheat the steam turbines, or we'll just get more power. Oh, you mean... No, I don't think... It, oh, the leak itself. I thought you meant uh, heat as well, for some reason. I, I don't... I mean... Unless it's lying to us, we have no reason to think it leaks extra when it's full. Oh yeah, I wanted to prioritize... Oh, never mind. It's already done. Let's get this one built first. So that we can remove this one. Gotta be very careful not to leave both types of wires on the same tile. And we'll use iron... Down here, I think. Oh, our crude oil is creeping towards touching all of the robo miners. Fantastic. I kind of need them to hurry up with this because when the regolith comes down, uh, I think it actually deletes some of the crude oil. Because we end up with just a little bit of crude oil here, a little bit of crude oil here, and so on. So if we don't get that spread out all the way... I'm going to have to do a couple more bottle empties. You also need to consider the space on the map. The question is, are they the same amount of tiles? Uh, then look at the heat production power storage per tile as well. I guess. I mean, it's a pretty big map though. Battery charge is getting low. What about these? They're on the same network. Basically. Oh, they're on the main network. These ones... These batteries are actually, like, directly connected to the solar and steam. Whereas these ones... This goes to the main network. Which feeds these batteries... And we shut off connection to the main network if this gets low enough. 
Okay then. But this does go back to the main network. Yes, good. Perfect. Fantastic. Alright, can we... There we go. Deconstruct that. High priority. And then... Oh, that was quick. It just disappeared. I didn't even see the dupe. Ninja deconstruction. Alright, I kind of want the... Batteries themselves at a slightly lower priority. Is there not much use without the wire? How's our steam temp? 127, 129, 126, 127, 124. This one's barely running. 123, and so on. Who needs an aqua tuner when you've got battery spam? <laughs> we talk about steam batteries in Factorio, but this is a little bit different. to their devices for now. Let's have a look downstairs. Can we mop this? We can. So close and yet so far. Should probably do some oil one day. One project at a time. Oh, look at that. We got there. This might be a peak for how many natural gas geysers are running, but this is the first time in a long time that we've had our gas reservoirs filling up here. So we are probably... Crossing the line into plentiful power. Again. Kind of. Kind of again, not kind of crossing the line. As some Vader bringing in the crude oil. Why didn't he use the tube access? Wait, where is he going? What what are you did you just change job? What? Why, why are you like this? Is someone else doing this? Damsel? Damsel just changed her mind. No? I think Damsel... Is... What? Uh, okay. Ideally, the solar power will cause the natural gas gens to shut off more and more. Yes. Building up your gas storage. Yes, yes, yes. That's the idea. Um, and it's not just the gas reservoirs we're using for storage. Um, once they get full, and only when they get full, we let the natural gas into this room at high pressure. Uh, and we'll suck it back into the system. Um... If it comes to that. I'm really liking how this is going though. Remains to be seen if this, no this number of steam turbines can keep up or not. I mean, we've got room to double them quite easily.
The thing is, when I tested it in Sandbox, this was without the batteries in the Steam Room, um, just the heat from the regolith, the Steam Turbines, like one per solar panel, seemed completely overkill. Uh, and yet here we have these running very consistently. Maybe there's a lot of heat saved up from the regolith from before. That might be it. Small mercy, but I don't think the bottle emptier gets destroyed. Oh, actually, we're probably about to witness what I was talking about before, where we'll have to do a bottle emptier closer to each of these two Robo Miners. Because the regolith will... I think it just deletes the, um, the crude oil that it lands on. Bottle emptiers are surprisingly hardy. Yeah. I should have looked at the amounts of the liquid a minute ago. Still have no idea what that sound is about. We've still got 3.7 tons of steel, let's just go for it. fit. Priority 4. And wire needs to go first. Fantastic. Alright. Liquid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not all liquids. Crude oil... Auto bottle. There we go. I wonder if it would be wise to increase the pressure of steam as well. There'd be more thermal mass required to heat up the steam. We're still under 99 degrees, well and truly, for all of these. It is not struggling. Is your heating loop even keeping up with the new regolith heat? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I mean, we've already tested that much. We we've tested this without the batteries. Uh, like, over here. We know that works. Um, this, because the steam turbines shut down eventually. I think it's... the fact that these steam turbines are always running and these ones are not, I think it's just the, uh, the backlog of regolith heat that we're getting rid of. From when we built this. What about down here? Can we finally get rid of this? Nope. Ah, okay. What if we just let it fall down here? It should spread out enough. I hope. And if not, I'll take this out. Okay, I'm going to save real quick, and 
and we'll do some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. How are we doing? That's a tricky words on stream. Uh yeah, that is That looks like a rough level one. <laughs> okay, moving on rapidly. Uh this uh Batteries producing heat in the steam room uh, in order to use their heat. Well, not use their heat. Uh, okay, in this case, we're absolutely using it. We're exploiting the hell out of it. But uh, at the very least, recycle the heat. Um, it's giving me ideas. Like, just how many things could we put in a big self-cooling steam room to recycle the heat as um, as power. Did we do this one already? Uh, yeah, it just hasn't been done yet. So for example, how many of these machines in the industry room could function at 125 degrees or so. Metal refinery, I imagine, won't care unless it overheats. As in, as far as I know, the steam turbine is the only building that has a temperature at which it won't work that it doesn't tell you about here. So all we have to worry about is overheating and taking damage. Um, obviously, the downside of this, even assuming all of it works, is the upfront cost. Like, we literally have to make everything out of steel if we're going to do it this way. Usually more convenient to just use an aqua tuner to move the heat. Yeah, but this is cool. Like, there's no aqua tuner or anything like that. Like, th this entire heat, seek uh, heat sinking build literally costs no power, uh, even up front. E even if you were to say it's net positive or something. Like, it doesn't cost any power at all. It just sort of runs itself without any, without any input, really. Except for, you know, the heat that we're getting from the regolith that we can't avoid. Um, so what I'm imagining is... Does a metal refinery... We can use any type of liquid for coolant, right? So we could use crude oil, for example. Something that doesn't evaporate at 125 degrees. Um... I, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't care what temperature it's at, as long as it's not taking damage. Uh, the glass forge, obviously, should be able to take lots of heat. Um, oh, hold on. We made this glass forge out of igneous rock. Its overheat temperature is 90 degrees. Can we get it to 130 or so? Oh, I don't think we can. Oh, yep, we can make it out of ceramic. Ceramic's a little bit of a pain, a little bit expensive, at least at certain stages of the game. We're out of coal. I need to get better at the whole coal thing. Um, but yes, we can make a glass forge that will that'll work in the steam room. Molecular forge we can make out of steel. I'll I'll try all this stuff in sandbox, but at the moment I'm just theory crafting. Uh, metal refinery we already looked at. Rock crusher, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't care that it's at 125 degrees, as long as it's not taking damage. 
Um, probably even all of these machines as well, although that... They're not being used very... Oh, this doesn't even produce heat, the Exosuit Forge, weirdly enough. Uh, textile loom doesn't produce heat. Clothing... What is it called again? Clothing Refashionator. Uh, doesn't produce heat. Interesting. I never did use the ethanol distiller. Uh, that produces a fair bit of heat. Lumber in, power in, ethanol out. Okay, what else have we got? Aquatuners obviously produce heat. Um, I don't think I would... I don't think I would want to try using active cooling. Um, like... In the steam room where we're using passive cooling, I wouldn't want to put an aqua tuner or two, is what I was trying to get at. Although, come to think of it, 500 each, aqua tuner gives us 585.06. Uh, it depends. Okay. Generates heat based on the volume and specific heat capacity. Okay, so we're we're dropping the temperature by 14 degrees, and it depends on how much fluid and specific heat capacity. But this is an approximation, an average, uh, an easy example. 600 DTUs of heat. Um, really? Is that all? Surely it's more than that. Ice Maker has negative heat, but gets warm while running. Interesting. So kind of like the uh, steam turbines. It depends on the used fluid, yeah. Uh, if we use good coolant that has a high specific heat capacity, the aqua tuna is going to generate more heat. But, um, yeah, the sheer number of batteries here, I wouldn't be shocked if some of our turbines get too hot, but it really doesn't look like happening, to be honest. Like, I've literally filled it with batteries, and none of these are reaching 99 degrees. At least not yet. That one was 98.8 before. Fluid by the temperature delta, you get amount of heat removed. Yes. What's the overall heat exchange with the batteries? Uh, as in, we've got 500 DPUs... DTUs per battery, and we've got 16, 30, 39, uh, so 19,500 DTUs of heat spread across eight steam turbines. And that's ignoring the, uh, the heat getting pumped down from the, uh, from the regolith, obviously. Uh, Massel Passel, if I didn't say so, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh, we got oil here. I didn't even notice. Fantastic. So we can deconstruct these. Nice. 
Is the oil able to exchange heat effectively still? Yes. It really doesn't take much to keep a Robo Miner uh, cool over time. Pretty sure it takes an absurd amount of batteries to produce enough heat to run a single turbine, like well over 100. Yeah, it's not just... Uh, it's not just like, will it run a turbine that I'm concerned about, but I haven't found where the limit is, but if the steam gets too hot, uh, the self-cooling steam turbines may not be able to keep themselves cool enough to run is the thing. Um, I forget the ratio, but someone said, like, a percentage of the heat over 125 degrees uh, is transferred to the steam turbine, basically. We've got it, f uh, we've got the steam turbines immersed in hydrogen, so, um, that's about the best we can do in terms of having them in a gas that will... Hydrogen gas, here we go. I suppose I could take it one step further and have a little bit of oil in here, but I'm thinking this is probably already sufficient to exchange heat uh, with the radiant liquid pipes. Like, everything's always at, like, 98 degrees, so... I think this is actually probably fine. Now that I look at it, maybe these two on the right are getting a little bit less cooling. But then again, the temperature would be cooler here and a bit hotter over here. So it probably evens out. All right. So that is, I mean, tentatively, we need to run this for. Qu wow, that is cold. What? What's so cold over here? Was it abyssalite? Negative seven point four degrees. How did that get there? Well, regardless, um, uh, I say tentatively because we need to run this for a while and make sure it doesn't. Uh, somehow stop the steam turbines. 99.2 degrees. Yeah, it could potentially overheat. If it does, I think it's going to take its sweet time doing so. Uh, and if it does, we can pretty easily fix it just by cycling through some hydrogen, which comes up here much cooler. Uh, but yeah, I think that is basically done. 99.3? Okay. These ones are so much cooler, though. Hmm. I could even... I think I should. Uh, I could even have all of the steam co turbines cool each other. It would be very difficult for all of them to go down at once, but maybe less difficult for four of them? I don't know. Like I said before, there's a lot more heat on this side because the build is more recent, there was more hot regolith dropped down. It'll take time for the temperatures to balance out more, yeah. The only reason I don't link all of them to begin with... Let's do it this way, actually. Um, the only reason I don't link them all to begin with is just a pipe can tolerate... Uh, can keep up with five steam turbines working together. Um, but if we just output some of the steam here, some of the steam here, or something... Um, that should actually be totally fine. Uh, 
I obviously don't want to do the snippies until uh, until the dupes get here. So I think we'll go for like this one and this one for output. If the regolith heat pipe was inside the insulated tiles, regular heat pipe was inside the insulated tiles and entered the chamber at multiple points, it would spread out to more turbines. Uh, yeah, that's true. It would be a bit more of a pain to do the piping. I'd need, like, double bridges. I guess, um, if I had pipe bridge here horizontally, then it could just come down like this. But then they wouldn't all go through the central reservoir, which makes it a lot harder to set it all up properly. The tubes look kind of weird in this view. Okay, here we go. No. Ease. Still have no idea what that sound is. Can we get someone on the way here? Apparently not. Priority. Whoops. No colony, colony summary. Alright, let's start building... We've got plenty of steel still. That auto throughput of it is working like a charm. Uh, I think I want to build above this so we can have a nice, straight, clean build. On second thought, I could just do the science over here, question mark? Um, we're going to need an oxygen pipe up here. Where even is the telescope stations? There it is. Overheat temperature, 75. We're obviously going to make it out of steel. Uh, 120 watts. Oxygen intake pipe. Duplicate operation, 125 DTUs of heat, and uh, despite the graphic, it's actually 4x, it doesn't stick out to the sides like that. So I'm thinking something like, well, basically what we have here for the, uh, the one half decent space scanner. But a little bit taller. Do we have no cooling on this space scanner? Or has the little bit of gas been keeping it cool? I think the gas has probably been keeping it from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the temperature fluctuating. That's fine. It only has to stay below 275 degrees. Wait, actually... Space Scanner doesn't care unless it literally melts. Alright, that's good. But the telescope does care. So we'll need some kind of cooling for that. I think I'd like to put it here. We're only letting dupes up here with um, with spacesuits now, right? So I could just let them go up through this way. Except maybe it would be bad to drop regular through the entire base. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, stations, telescope. I think we want bunker door up here and bunker tiles. Feels weird that these tiles are. They're probably not immune to meteors. They just start with a bunch of regolith on top of them. Uh, and we will need a auto miner. Can we do a couple of these while we're at it? Why not? And then... I think I'll just borrow this power here. It's already connected to a lot. Should probably just do one more... power transformer somewhere. I could fit it here if I removed the bottle emptier, but I'm not going to do that. I should probably just drop one of the many, many batteries here. Yeah, let's do that. Transformer's going to give us a thousand BTUs of heat anyway. Ninety-nine point three degrees, ninety-nine point four, ninety-eight point nine. That's surprisingly low. Eight point eight, ninety-nine point three, ninety-eight point six or seven, ninety-eight point two, ninety-eight point one. Hmm. Oh yeah, we didn't connect this up properly yet. Or disconnect this. There we go. So I think I want. Half of the output here, and half of the output here, maybe? I could add some more pipe so that it comes back. That might not be the worst idea, actually. Oops. So we're going to output... Uh, maybe here would be better. I could obviously measure it a bit better, like this could be here, this could be here. But it's close enough, I think. So that's going to allow us to cool every steam turbine with every other steam turbine. Uh, I've made a mistake. Actually. Because after five of these, we're blocking the water. It's not just the output that can bottleneck. Um... But that's going to want to go this way now. Hmm. I think I need a liquid bridge. Just to make it one way somewhere. Like right here, actually. Okay, before we do do that, let's make sure... That the water can flow. Otherwise we're going to have problems. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't try to have uh, all eight of them cool each other. I don't know, I feel like there should definitely be a pattern that I can use here. 
We'll see if that bridge does the job. Anyway, back to this design. Did I build this out of steel? Uh, gold amalgam. That's probably not going to cut it. it uh, stations, rather. Telescope. Steel. Okay, so that's 400. 800. Uh, 1,800. 2,000. 2,400. We're going to have to wait on that a little bit. Unless I get rid of some of these batteries, which I might have to do anyway. I think the steam turbine got cooler though, so probably not. It's at exactly 99 degrees for now. Oh, and this seems to be working. Fantastic. Interestingly, this water is never coming back up this way. I almost would have thought I would need another bridge here somewhere. But it seems to be working out. It got cooler, 98.9 degrees. This one's 99.1, 99. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we can have as many batteries as we can fit in here. All right then. Before we build that, I'll need the dupes to... What's this made out of? Sandstone is probably going to be bad. Didn't it literally melt earlier? Or something? No? I seem to remember having... Oh, that was only where we were... Um playing with the volcano, I think. I could be wrong. Magma 926. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, well, 926 degrees is way above our range here. So, let's decon that. Uh, ladder goes up this way, and build this very urgently, and these two slightly less urgently. Are you stuck now? You absolute genius. How did we get crude oil here? Curious. Looks like our uh, shove vols are indeed staying inside. Why does a pneumatic door keep them in, but an airlock door doesn't? Seems very strange to me. Also, oh, printing time. I'll take the lime, sure. Uh, did I... Didn't remember to prioritize that. How's our oxygen down here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's so much better than I expected. Um, there's patches of polluted oxygen around the place still, but... I'm really quite surprised at how effective that was. And I want to put some 
deodorizers in here. I don't know how effective it'll be on the ground. I'm actually curious about that. Okay. I got confused for a second, thought they'd already built this. Unreachable build... Unreachable dig? What dig are you talking about? Unreachable, you say? How is this unreachable? Or is everything... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atmo suit? We've got one Atmo suit that's ready right now. It still says unreachable. And it says dig. What do you mean unreachable dig? It's a ladder. That's weird. It doesn't say unreachable or dig anymore. Uh, alright, errands. Ashcan is on the job, I think. But where are you going? Never mind. Looks like you can use doors to munch regolith too. Never tried it myself. Uh, is this in the same way that you can use doors to delete gases? Can, can we please get this built? No, I guess not. Alright. 98.7. It's cooled down by 0.3 degrees since we last checked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will work indefinitely. Nice. Well, I really just want to see this build now. Let's go peek at another build and see what we can do. Get them to decon this for now. Hopefully they can mop that up and that'll be the end of it. How's our temperature at the AETN? Negative 36 degrees. Alright, I think we will need insulation around here. Uh, our copper is sitting at 66 degrees still. 66.5. It's up to 2 tons, though. Yeah, it's actually ticking down surprisingly quickly. I guess the copper volcano delivers relatively often. Alright, so... We'd have to get rid of this fire pole is the only thing that makes me sad here. The jeeps could just slide down here, walk here, slide down here. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, insulated tile. Igneous rock should be fine. This thing's not going to complain if it doesn't have tiles under it, is it? Probably. Yep. Okay. Decon these. And... 
I could just do an airlock door and not be that strict about trying to keep the cold in. We're only trying to get it down another 10 degrees. How are people still getting scolded? Why are you there without an Atmo suit? And we, what the hell? Exhausted? What? What did? What did? Hungry. Two hundred and fifty-nine thousand k calories. Exhausted. I don't know why. Soggy feet. Where have you been? Well, there's a vacuum here. I th think. Oh no. There is not a vacuum here at this exact moment. Because someone else has been through here lately. So it is transporting temperature through and scalding Ben Wu, who is not moving. Oh, good. Now we're. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think we should add a tile to this room just so that we can fit a temperature sensor. Uh, not a temperature sensor, an Atmo sensor. Um, Ben, we please move? Please? Jeez. He could have died. Now I have to wait for morning for this to get done. How about this instead? Evil Pla is on the case. Alright. Automation, Atmos sensor. And... Uh, I just remembered. The only way to do automation with doors is to lock them. They don't have the functionality built in that you only get out of checkpoints, which I think should just be an option that doors have. Um, so if we detect gas in this room, we could switch off one of these doors, or both, but it would lock a dupe in this room. And we don't have room to be better than that. I think it might be worth it, honestly. They don't have to come in here often. They come in with a spacesuit. And we just don't let them out until... There's no gas in here. So that it doesn't transfer heat. So that people don't get scalded when they stand here for some reason. Dupe sensor? Dupe sensor. As in... If we detect a dupe in here, this is green? That could work. So it'll basically be one way if there's atmosphere detected in this tiny room. Yeah, that makes sense. And we shouldn't even need any logic gates or anything. Uh, let's see... Duplicant sensor. Is it one by one? Duplicate motion sensor. Yeah, here we go. I was playing with this uh, ATN thing in Sandbox and found it quite useless. Do you mean the thermo nullifier? I locked it in an insulated room with hydrogen and in 50 cycles it cooled down to only negative 35. Probably be able to keep a lamp chill. Well, it's been doing a lot more than that already. It's been cooling our, um, our water down. It's also cooled our mushrooms enough that fertilization is the problem, not heat. And it's also been cooling down the copper that came out of a copper volcano. So, it does work. 
And it's very cheap for what it does. Just a tiny amount of hydrogen. In fact, it's such a small amount of hydrogen that the surplus from one electrolyzer can run it. Compared to if you put the rest into a hydrogen generator. In your case, most of the chill comes from the cold biome? Uh, no, I don't think that's right. Because the cold biome would be warming up more. Okay. What I'm not sure about this... I mean, this might help something, but... It's possible the dupe will stand over here somewhere while it can't get out. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to have automation wire. Green if no atmosphere and or if there's a dupe detected. Shouldn't need any logic gates. Many kilograms of hydrogen. The nullifier works on joules, not temperature change. Well, there you go. Yeah, like uh, like an aqua tuna, kind of. Well, no, the the aqua, the aqua tuna scales. The more specific heat capacity you're pumping through it, the faster it is. For the same amount of power. I didn't even think of that before, even though I had all the pieces to put together. Uh, if you put super coolant through a thermo aqua tuner, it's actually much, much more energy efficient. Super coolant solid? Lol. <laughs> super coolant solidifies it almost exactly absolute zero, like two degrees above. Damn. Uh, let's see. Don't even know what fullerene is. Gold, petroleum, molecular forge. Uh, specific heat capacity, eight? Holy. That is incredible. That is beyond super. That is... That, that's like... God coolant. Super coolant is easy mode once you can make it, I reckon. That... That just puts... Oh, the smart battery does take damage sometimes still. Wait. Its temperature is 8 degrees and it says it took heat damage? Awaiting repair delivery lead. Temperature 8.1 degrees. Huh? Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just going to replace that with something better. Even if it does have to be steel. Uh, I should have checked the settings. I don't know what I had this set to. Smart battery... Probably just iron or copper should be fine. So I had these steam turbines operating under two conditions. Either we're at max temperature for maximum steam efficiency. Or the battery here is empty. I think, was the other option. So basically, we can store energy as heat in the steam room. Alright. Copper should be fine. Let's set this to... Oh! A hundred and zero... So stop if full and start if empty. Um, yeah. That's actually pretty much what we want here. Alright, Atmos sensor. 
if above zero. Oh wait, if uh, if there's no atmosphere detected, green signal. And we're gonna have to make an exception until. Well, actually, no, we're not gonna have to make an exception until this uh, sensor is built. There it is. Oh, no. <laughs> the dock. I think I might have to make this a, uh, a powered airlock. Because the... This door actually locks before the dupes can get through. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Doors... Manual airlock, mechanized airlock. Um, build amalgam. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we make it out of. And give it a little bit of power. Alright, cool. Let's make sure this gets done, though. Fantastic. What did you just... Never mind. New log entry. Cycle 1000. Major success. Imagine how proud our homeworld would be if they could see us now. Fantastic. This is probably the first time I've gone to cycle like 500, let alone a thousand. Self cooling is still working just fine. Fantastic. 1000 cycles reset button time. Don't tempt me. Between the slowness, which isn't most most of the time it's not that bad, but it's just a little bit less responsive, and the the autosave lurch is crazy. Um, but between that and just how messy some of this is, and how much I would have to do to like widen the main bus, for example, uh, I do want to restart eventually. But there's just one project after another that I want to try. Unreachable dig. Okay. There's just one project after another that I want to try and figure out before restarting. And... They didn't get through, did they? I need to see this next time. Oh, the, the door closing faster is probably going to make the pump not have to work as hard. Okay, yeah, the door doesn't make a difference. Because they put their spacesuit on here, the door opens, uh, and the gas is let in, and this door gets locked. Hmm... How much gas is in there right now? 252 grams? You need more space before the door? Yeah. But I don't really... I guess I could just delete this. Move these over one. Or I could solve it with uh, circuit logic somehow. But that'd be sketchy. I'd have to like... Have this unlocked when there's a little bit of atmosphere in here, or... Or something. 
Let's just move this over a tile. Oh, that doesn't matter. See how that goes. Alright. Um, how's our gap? Wow. Yes. A thousand times yes. We've got almost five kilogram, four and a half kilograms of natural gas per tile in here. Yeah, we got a lot of natural gas saved up. Uh, what are we printing? How much lime do we have? Let's see. Lime. 365 kilograms. That's not a whole lot. Feed the containers with an auto sweeper and keep dupes out completely. Um... Yes. What am I even storing in there? I don't remember. Regolith. Oh yeah, because because we wanted to transfer the heat into this room. That's why. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's get a little bit of power. Actually, should probably just use... This is 1200. Should probably use this instead. Take some load off this one. Except they can't reach it to build right now. Oh, no, the, the connection's already there. Fantastic. Alright, so... Sending a green signal. I want to see someone try to come through this door. Deliver suit, priority 9. There definitely should be a suit lying around. How is... what the... How is there water here? Um... Excuse me? Where is this coming from? Ice melting, maybe? It could be it. Somehow. Can we mop this? Okay. Uh, we got this much built. Let's continue with that. Gonna need some power. Let's do another... Um, Oh, I was going to do it over here, wasn't I? I don't think I want to do that. Uh, let's do another transformer over here somewhere. This is kind of dodgy, but it's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. Don't have the materials. Make it out of copper. And make it out of copper. That's got the same temperature as iron, right? Yeah, we're good. So this is going to go up here. And actually, I should compare the melting temperatures. 
but I'm pretty sure... Uh, liquid a thousand degrees. Iron... 1500 degrees. So iron is hardier, but copper is still way outside of the range that we need to worry about here. Fantastic. And we'll need to get the automation wire. Uh, I might just copy it from here. Can we even do that? Will it be vulnerable to meteors or not? I guess we'll find out. Need to dig through here. Actually, at the moment they can reach up here. I don't want to mess that up. How about... Can they climb up two tiles? I think they can. Well, we don't need them to do that. Alright, let's have a peek at our build down here. Uh, it's actually kind of working already. I don't think we really need the motion sensor. But I would like to see... Wait, they were wearing a spacesuit, right? How did that happen? And why is this not powered? Uh, no, really, why is this not powered? Oh, because it's not built? Apparently? What? Oh, I see. It's kind of hard to see. I haven't actually built the wire there. Alright, can we hurry up with this one? I'd like to get someone to move in here just so we can see what would it look like without the motion sensor how long would they have to wait to get out I'm guessing not as long as before um, just because just because of the mechanized airlock insufficient resources led well, there's your problem. Can we hurry up with that one then? It feels so weird to go from infinite lead to no lead at all. Uh, not that we couldn't get a bit more, but it's finite. Um, to basically infinite copper. Oh, these insulated tiles are warming up. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be a little bit lazy and just try a mechanized airlock here and nothing else to help keep the heat in. It's not quite going to work. Oh, you can overwrite with that. I didn't realize. I don't really want to dig out the Abyssalite. That's an even better insulator than our insulation. Hmm. Should be able to get that done question mark? I might have to put some ladders here or something. 
The insulated tiles have the temperature of the materials they were built out of. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's going to take a while for this to cool down then. In which case, actually, maybe these should be insulated. Oops. Well, not in which case, but it just sort of reminded me. I could just leave that some of that polluted water in there for temperature transfer, honestly. And what about this build? Alright, let's get someone... Uh, Veldak, once you've finished cooking. There we go. Please stand in here for a moment. Yeah, it doesn't... Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. It switches off while the dupe is inside? Okay, it does let the dupe out, though. And then... Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what just happened? Veldak seemed to go through this while it had a red signal, but then I didn't see the lock graphic until after he came out this way. Does this just happen to work really, really well for our use case, uh, even though it's not what we designed it to do? I mean, as long as they can go in only when this has no atmosphere so that it doesn't conduct heat and then they're still able to go out, that's all I really care about. Hmm. Seems good. We have no igneous rock left. Uh, what about granite, then? Let's see if we can reach all that. Ooh, here comes some more copper. Look at the copper graphic getting bigger and hotter. We're gaining a couple of degrees every time a couple of these gets dropped in. Um, and then we're dropping back down again. Fantastic. Why not just build a double airlock? I want to see the difference. And there's nothing particularly urgent here, right now. What is Veldak carrying? Uh, I think it's Regolith. Yeah, at 170 degrees. Is he scalded because he's carrying hot stuff, or because... I don't think any of this is at scalding temperature. I think... Does he actually get scolded for carrying something that's hot? Hard to say. But yeah, definitely the next base. Um, probably just living quarters and mess hall and stuff is going to be non-spacesuit and outside of that we're just going to have one 
base suit per duplicate. Got plenty of steel. Oh, here we go. Might be a good idea if we built this bunker door. Same goes for the bunker tiles. Here we go. Carenza is carrying regolith. 1.2 tons at 170 degrees. And scalded after he took off the spacesuit. Okay, good to know. Maybe I should have... I don't know, actually. I should probably just store stop storing regolith in here, because it's not like... Uh, it's not like we're picking it up at super high temperatures anymore. All of... Uh, we've got all this regolith up here that's at, like... Merely 150 degrees? 139? Hmm... If I create a storage for regolith that is high priority, that's inside, like, the AETN room, for example. That'll help. Oh wow, the copper's already down to 20 degrees. Damn. What's the gas temperature in here? Negative 28? Negative 30? Okay. We wanted to see if we could get to negative 48 with this, and uh, I guess on this side would make more sense to do a, a vacuum lock. See if we can't um, get significantly colder. But I do want to see how cold it gets just like this. The door is at negative 25. And I'll put it up until we have more resources, is what I was going to say before I looked at steel. We do already have a bit of oil on these tiles. And I was thinking... What if we pump... Pump? That's not quite the right word. Uh, what if we move our regolith with auto sweepers? They'll have to be made out of steel. They're already gonna be touching the oil. I don't know if I have to build them like this or not. <sighs> Judging by the fact that I can place it like this, I think we do. Hello there, Hated Hollow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where would I want to put the regolith is the question. Um, because... Okay, there's a problem or two with this. All of the regolith, unless I have separate shoots for them. If I put it in this room, uh, we're going to transfer the heat down here a bit more efficiently, let's say. Well, 
what I'd really like to do is steal the heat from the regolith. Use it for power. Um, let's just check these are running still. Steam temp too cold. Alright, that's good. Like, if I drop the regolith down here, down here, down here... The heat pipe... Or the coolant pipe isn't going to be doing as much, and we're not going to spread this heat through here as evenly, I guess. But that's probably fine. I don't think it'll make that much difference, actually. If I take the regolith away somewhere else, or put it all somewhere specific straight away, then we're going to get a big pile of heat wherever I put it. If I put it in the steam room in one spot, it's not going to be spread very evenly. If I take it somewhere like the AETN, we don't get to use this heat first. What I'd really like to do is drop the regolith and stuff down here, um, let it cool slash run the steam turbines, and then pick it up when it's at 125 degrees. But I don't think there's really a way to automate that. So one pile under each turbine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We can at least solve part of what I want to do with this. This is going to look something like... I'll have to have a conveyor loader as well. That actually doubles the cost. Jeez. Well, nothing for it. Um, oh, wait. Is this going to get hot? 2,000 DTUs. Ouch. Um, that's a problem, because when the regolith has done its thing for long enough, we end up with only this tile having some oil so that it can transfer heat. It can't toss stuff to a conveyor loader through a wall, right? That wouldn't even make a difference. Hmm. It's looking more difficult than I expected. Yeah, I'd have to change the design. Okay, I think I'll just leave it as is for now. Maybe I should have the coolant pipe uh, run where this drywall is instead of or as well as where it is already. Because I'm really shocked at how hot some of this regolith still is. Especially on the side where we've started. Where things have had the longest time. Hmm. The sound of the solar panels is cool and weird. Same job. Uh, how do I get an automated supply of cool regolith for the dupes to pick up? I really don't like the idea that the solution would be to have them 
always wearing Atmo suits. I'll definitely take three tons of coal. If you have spilled oil on the tiles, it will cool the stuff. Yeah, but we've got like... Like, the regolith eventually deletes the oil, or so I thought. Um, because we ended up with oil here, oil here, oil here. Uh, but not where the regolith has been. And yet, it's been a few cycles since we put this oil here. If I could count on that oil staying there, then I could happily just, you know, have a sweeper here, have a conveyor loader here, and bring the materials down. Um... But as it is, if I think that eventually the regolith will get rid of the crude oil like this, um, I think this is a bit different because we had oil over here relatively recently. Um, if I think that's the case, then sooner or later the conveyor loader is not going to get cooled. So the falling regolith deletes it instead of pushing it to the side. That's what I suspect, yes, based on this, which had more crude oil a while ago. Which means, if that's true, we would need a different layout um, to make the whole thing work. So for now, I think I'll just leave it Okay. They're taking their sweet time building some of this. Fantastic. All right. How is this thing looking down here? Can we mop this up now? Yes. Yes, we can. Get out of here, polluted water. Fantastic. And our copper is... Carbon dioxide is negative 60 degrees. Wow. Copper is still at 70, but dropping... I was going to say dropping rapidly, but the water that was in here is gone. Um, I mean, the copper is well and truly cool enough to... to have buildings made out of it and not have any trouble. But I'm surprised how long it's taking to equalize temperature with the gas. We're at negative 60 something degrees for the gas. Well, that definitely drops our temperature low enough to think about carbon. Uh, what was it? Carbon dioxide gas. Oops. Negative 48 degrees. So we would need to pump in carbon dioxide. Pump out oxygen. Uh, and gain a bunch of refined carbon. That's pretty much it. What would that look like exactly? 
let's do a proper uh, vacuum airlock as well. I, I am very pre uh, pleasantly surprised at how cold this gets, even with just the mechanized airlock. Um, but obviously, if it gets even colder, we'll be able to do this faster and so on. What's your job right now? Store Gristleberry. What? Alright, let's remove the deodorizer. We're gonna want a airlock door uh, right about here. And one over here. I might need to make the room bigger actually. We need some gas pumps. Hmm. Game really needs a ceramic insulated door. That would be nice. All busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want to pump in CO2. And it's going to turn into oxygen. Oh, it's going to self-sort... Uh, just like hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen will be at the top. So we can do the exact same logic that we've done here. Uh, to suck in air only when it's immersed in the one type of gas and not have a filter. Um, not that we're worried about power at this stage. But we won't have to be, like, constantly sucking in a bit of CO2 and a bit of oxygen and filtering it. Yes, I like where this is going. Okay. Um, let's bring... Let's bring this up here. And we're going to want a gas pump. Way up the top. And some sensors and stuff over here. And the last thing I want to do is let the CO2 out. So our door should be at the top. Yeah. Which means I should widen this so that we can have a ladder. Do I need anything else? Do I want anything else? We're basically just going to have... Gas in. Oxygen out. Uh, CO2 in, oxygen out. And... And that's all there is to it. We don't even need an... Well, an airlock is good uh, because we can do a double airlock and have a vacuum. And keep the temperature in better. But do we even need it? We've got negative 70 degrees now. Where do you want the liquid... Uh, what do you want the liquid CO2 for? Uh, not liquid CO2, solid CO2. We're going to make it colder... And it's gonna... Hold on. This is carbon. Carbon dioxide. Uh, it goes solid at... Negative 48 degrees. Or maybe negative 56? What? Oh, this is liquid. Right, of course. The liquid is the state between gas and solid. Uh, yeah, so we actually want it at negative 56.5. The liquid's going to help cool the copper that we drop in here as well. That's cool. Yeah, so we're going to pump in carbon dioxide gas. Drop it to negative 56.5 degrees. Or lower and get uh, 
a solid carbon dioxide. Wait, what? No, the idea was... Do I have to control the temperature precisely? My idea was drop it to a liquid. Uh, drop it from gas to liquid. And it's going to separate the carbon from the oxygen. And then it's just going to drop carbon. But maybe that's not what will happen. I guess we'll do a science. I guess we'll do some science. Um... Alright, so we need this at least wide enough for ladder. And... Double airlock. How about... Oh, this is fine, actually. We're going to make a, a vacuum here so that temperature is well and truly stuck in there. And we'll just see what happens as far as... Uh, as far as dropping it all the way temperature-wise goes. Don't want to deconstruct any of the pipes or anything. try something lazy to create a vacuum here. I'm just going to build a mechanized airlock. No! Uh, I guess they're back to mucking about again. What's this supposed to be made of? Lead? Let's make it out of copper. Lady Candy Frogs? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was that? Leveled up? Plenty of CO2 over here. Uh, we also have this. How's this build coming along? Pretty well, actually. Except that we haven't built the automation wire. Uh, I don't actually want the automation wire completely built, or rather connected, just yet. Don't need to dig this out, the auto miner will do that. Oh, and don't build the modded airlocks uh, before you've got power. Otherwise, you won't be able to get through them. We got 8.5 tons of copper. Wow.
Okay, and should probably remove those. Probably shouldn't be removing abyssalite to put in insulated tile, actually. It's fine. Oh, they do have a path there. I forgot about this door. Can we get rid of these so that I can queue everything up? And... Construction... Oh. Fantastic. Dig that out so you don't lose access to that copper. And... A couple of airlock doors here. Manual airlock door here. And that should delete any gas that's left in the middle. If it unless they build this first and push it out. Alright, so our logic here. Well, first of all, let's upgrade that to radiant again. Uh, our logic here is basically going to be look for look for oxygen here and or maybe here and don't suck in gas unless you find oxygen or maybe I should look for the absence of CO2 because at least at first we've got some polluted oxygen in here. And it's possible that it could somehow get in here again, I guess. And we don't actually need to pump the CO2 anywhere. Alright, so the theory is we deconstruct this and... We have a vacuum right here, already. And there it is. Alright, what about the automation? Uh, we need a gas element sensor. I think we'll go a couple of tiles down. And just say, I probably don't even need like uh, the filters and or buffers that I used before. I was being super, super careful. We got a filter gate and then a buffer gate. So like, we need to detect hydrogen for 20 seconds and then we'll suck it in for 20 seconds. Um... So that we're always getting a good gulp of hydrogen. I, I think it's fine if we just activate and deactivate the pump whenever we detect oxygen down here. CO2 shouldn't be able to make its way up here if we do that. Alright, so we're looking for breathable gas. I said breathable gas, oxygen. And we'll try it with just that simple... Uh, simple setup. We'll need a high pressure gas vent here. And... 
let's say insulated actually make it radiant here just in case I don't think that's going to make any difference yeah I don't think it's going to matter what kind of pipe we use here I don't think they can actually reach that either. How about this? Might do. I could maybe do CO2 and a knot gate instead. Might be better. Well... I think any gas other than CO2 is going to get pumped out of here eventually anyway. Probably. We just have to pump CO2 in here. It's already at negative 50. Oh wow. Um, this space is already occupied. We're gonna have to make another channel to get CO2 down here. But I'll do that after the break. For now, let's do some words on the stream. We'll start that again in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, I'd really like to get this experiment done before we finish today, if possible. So... Let's see. Uh, I should probably hurry up and replace this with insulated tile. Didn't like something I typed? Yeah, uh, Twitch has that filtering built in. What's our corporate temperature here? 106. But the air is... negative 40. It's going to exchange temperature a lot faster when we have liquid... liquid CO2 in here. That's the idea, anyway. Alright, so... looking for oxygen... And is this already working? The uh, gas pump, that is. Let's say polluted oxygen. What's the problem? Disabled by automation grid. Polluted oxygen. It's flickering between oxygen and polluted oxygen, but the uh, uh, the sensor is not triggering the automation wire. Hmm. Hadn't expected that. Let's do what I talked about before with the not gate. Uh, we're gonna do. CO2 not fantastic and then we have to get some CO2 down here which is looking more difficult than one might imagine um How about... Well, I was using this for a CO2 pipe before. I might just remove this for now. either need to go around or dig through this. I think I'll just probably go around. And I think... Hmm. That should probably be fine. Worst case, I'll move the sensor up a bit. Um, do we want a high pressure one? Probably. Uh, then again... Let's just try a regular gas vent for starters. this pipe. Uh, how about we start with a pump down here. That one's already taking in... it's looking for CO2. Why don't I just add a filter to that? What was I thinking here? I think I need a not gate there. Close this when there's no 
Close this when CO2 reaches the top of the room. filter. I'd like to run pumps from here and here into this filter as well. Might change this up a bit. And that's gonna go here. And our filter needs to go down here. That's actually kind of tricky. Um, I want the CO2 output to go both ways. looking pretty viable. And snippy that. Get rid of this. Uh, stop this for the moment. Okay, so CO2 goes up and down. Everything else goes this way. Should be fine. And give me a pump down here as well. And I don't care if this one blocks that one, it'll work out. So we need a gas bridge, like so. Need some power. That'll probably do. And I would like a gas pump over here as well for the CO2. That's actually going to be really hard to get it across. I just won't worry about that yet. That's getting built rather quickly. Alright. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? What? And that's all connected, I think. Fantastic. Is this not filter? Carbon dioxide. Why is O2 going through here? Did I put this backwards? I may have done so. Also, this is still connected. O2. Fantastic. Let that saturate. Uh, we need a knot gate here. And we need this set to CO2. So if we have enough CO2 in, two in this room, don't let any more in. Put that back up. Why are we getting other gases through here? Oh, that was from before. That's probably okay. 
This will have to accumulate before it goes down this way as well. Oh, we'd need an output down this way before it works. That might help. Okay. How's our space build doing? Uh, quite well, actually. Alright. I didn't realize it would dig up that piece of regolith, so... I guess we'll need a tile... It doesn't have to be bunker tile, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Stations, telescope. And we need to run oxygen up here. That's actually surprisingly easy from this angle. Oh. And then... I like how this thing needs oxygen, even though the dupes will only ever come up here in a spacesuit. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, and we'll probably have to cool this thing. I almost forgot. We can either let gas up here, and we're going to have to constantly bring gas because it's going to escape. Or we can do the oil thing again. I think we'll do that. Just need a little bit. Oh, and we need coolant pipe to do its thing. This is only 35 degrees now. Huh. Active cooling go burr. Fantastic. And I've noticed our batteries here have been very slowly filling up. We have a massive uh, storage and surplus of power now. Our uh, natural gas storage is at 7.8 kilos per tile. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're at post-scarcity for power. You love to see it happen. We just need a few tiles of drywall so we don't lose that oil. Uh, I actually might just make a little bucket for the oil this time. Presumably this thing won't be flooded by that. Alright, let's have a peek downstairs. Oh, and it's running. Wait, what? What's happening here? Vacuum... CO2, 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 CO2. Uh, oh, it would probably help if we built this. Let's stop that flow for a moment. Oh, on second thought. Yeah, no, let's stop that flow for now. This is set to not CO2. I think the gas is... T the CO2 is taking a bit longer to settle than I expected. I 
maybe look for liquid CO2 on the bottom for whether the oxygen pump... Oh, wow, now it's... Nope, never mind. Now it's uh, working pretty well. And there it is. Okay, that's all CO2 here. And once we detect not CO2 here, we'll activate the um, the pump to get oxygen out of the room. Alright, so we can connect this up again. Should be nothing but CO2 coming down this way. Fantastic. And what's our temperature? Relatively hot, 10 degrees. Uh, it might take a while. Why is the AETN not running constantly? It's it's sputtering, even though it's got... Yeah, it's got a constant input. Too cold. Oh! Wait, the AETN itself is at a negative 172 degrees. Um, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the air itself, negative 32. Okay, it is dropping pretty quickly, actually. It was 10 degrees last we checked just a minute ago. What temperature do we get liquid CO2? Negative 48. Will it get there? I mean, if the AETN itself is negative 173, it should, right? It's not transferring heat well enough to low pressure also because the room is full of CO2. Yeah, I mean, the room is supposed to be full of CO2, that's the point. But uh, the question is not... It, the question is how long it will take to get as cold as we're aiming for, for the gas. Um, the more CO2 we keep pumping in, the, the more thermal mass. Um, it should exchange heat faster with a greater density of CO2, but there's more thermal mass for it to catch up with anyway, so it kind of evens out. As you increase pressure, the heat transfer will improve, yeah. So we should see the AETN working a bit harder, but the, the CO2 won't seem to cool down much quicker. But that's probably okay. It only hit, it only needs to hit negative 48 degrees. Uh, as soon as we get a little bit of liquid CO2, it's going to transfer heat a lot faster. And it should certainly equalize eventually. Um, but yeah, it is going to have to keep at it for a bit. There's a significant difference in temperature as we go up. Oh, 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 down in the corner, negative 48 degrees I thought I saw for a flicker. Negative 44, negative 47. It keeps flickering between water and... See how it keeps disappearing? It's it's flickering between water and... Uh, between liquid and gas. Hmm. 
which means the heat is equalizing across here. I think. Negative 49, negative 50. We're definitely getting there. The solids you have down there are much warmer. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what... The copper ore is now negative 21. Oh, that's copper ore. Where, where's the copper? Uh, 100 degrees. So, that's gonna... That's gonna make this take a little bit longer. Cooling down the copper. Should I put in a little bit of oil or something? I, I should double check. Uh, oil. Liquid. Freezing point. Uh, it's actually negative 40. Uh, that it goes solid. So, that won't work. Is there even a liquid that we have access to already that would do the job? Petroleum negative 57, so not really. Uh, obviously not brine. Ethanol? Negative 114. It's not a very good coolant, but uh, temperature range is good. Let's see. Methane? Methane turns into natural gas if you make it cold enough. Interesting. Liquid salt. Wow. That's kind of hot though. As expected. Something that's solid at room temperature. I think we need super coolant. Um, if we're going to have a coolant sitting on the ground here. In order to exchange the temperature better. But this corner is dipping below 50 degrees. Uh, every little while. Lolilo, thank you very much for the resub. Yay, Yay indeed. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much for the three months. You could put the nullifier in a hydrogen chamber. Uh, the hydrogen would float up to the top. We're trying to cool carbon dioxide, so it's gonna it's gonna be down the bottom here, no matter what gas we use. We need a liquid that uh, stays liquid at the temperature at which carbon dioxide liquefies. Meanwhile, our now, copper is still 109 degrees, really? I wasn't expecting that. How much copper is here? 2.1 tons, not as much as I feared. He's saying have the nullifier in its own room full of hydrogen, with the top of the room being made of metal to exchange heat with the second room. That might work. Yeah. That would be a lot more efficient at transferring the heat. I think. Also, with that setup, you don't have to worry about flooding the AETN. Um, I think the, that's a good point, but carbon dioxide gas, condenses at 
negative 48, and then solid at negative 56. It's only got, uh, it's got like an 8 degree range. Solid carbon dioxide isn't what we want, though. If it turns to liquid, the idea was... Kind of like if we flash uh, salt water to steam. It separates the salt and water. Um, I was hoping if we liquefy carbon dioxide... I don't, I don't think it's going to work that way, though. If we liquefy carbon dioxide, does the oxygen escape? I'm guessing no, especially since it tells us the stats for a solid carbon dioxide. I could be wrong though, or right in the initial guess. Too many things. 110 degree copper, 111. Hmm. CO2 is making it really hard to keep the copper cool and copper is making it really hard to cool the CO2. It's a vicious cycle. You've lost me, what do you mean by oxygen escape? Uh, you know how when you change states for some, let's call them composite, uh, uh, things. Uh, like if I flash brine to steam, it just drops the, uh, the salt on the ground and we get like steam that's just pure water, uh, based on pure water. Um, I was thinking, what happens if we drop CO2 uh, to a temperature where it changes state? Can we separate the oxygen from it without like a machine, basically, uh, like a specific machine? CO2 equals dry ice? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh, we do need to give that experiment time to run. And that's the best case scenario. We've got our telescope here. No analysis focus selected. Open star map. Whoa. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, are these all worlds? Destination unknown. Analysis 0% complete. A common asteroid containing several useful resources. Use a telescope to analyze space destination. Completing analysis will unlock rocket missions to that destination. Gather interstellar research data using research modules. Uh, okay. Do I... Analyze object. Alright then. Skill required operation, no line of sight. Uh, we'll need to cool it as well. I still haven't sorted that out. This really doesn't need to be bunker tile. And you know what? Let's remove this bunker door. Don't feel bad, the star map changes when you go spaced out DLC. Okay. 
Worlds are only in the DLC. In Classic, you send missions. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, covert operations in XCOM. You just, like, gear them up. Medias are still here. Yes, indeed. Carbon. Yeah, I was hoping, uh, by changing state to get carbon, refined carbon, and the oxygen is just kind of a bonus. But I don't know if we can do it that way. Solid. Refined carbon is solid up to 3500 degrees. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be this easy. Alright, let's replace this tile here. And then we need a bottle emptier for a bit of oil. So that we can keep this thing cool. Uh, and we should also have our coolant come up this way. The refined carbon will still be CO2. It takes a lot of energy to break it up. I don't think that's possible in this game. Okay. I'd still like to try the experiments regardless. I mean, we've already set it up. We're just going to let it run. See what happens. Where's our copper? 110 degrees. What would be the best liquid? I think we already looked at this. The um, the AETN goes down to a negative 172 or 3. I think we literally need super coolant. Um, it's rather awkward considering the layout that I've used already. But... We would need a gas shutoff to control the AETN. I guess I could just pipe this like that and not connect this here. It's actually pretty easy. Let's go gas shutoff. Oh, I can't put it here. That's a little bit rude. That radiator loop for the H2 is also going to keep the room warm. Uh, that's not the worst point. But this is just a little diversion. The cooling loop is more important. We're down to a chilly 36 degrees in our liquid reservoir. This part's actually cold. Kind of. 27 degrees. For, for various definitions of cold. Okay. How have we not built this yet?
Speaking of cold, 43 degree crude oil in these pipes. Very nice. Ironically, this area is now cool enough to not scold people. Um, but I definitely will be keeping the... Uh, the Atmos suit docks over here for the foreseeable future. What about this build? Can we finally remove all that? Okay, so I want a steam turbine right about... I could put it all the way down here. That seems overkill. Maybe. What's in a... Volcano management. I think it's literally just have a steam room. Um, I kind of overcomplicated this the first time. The fact that we've got two steam turbines working right now, and this thing erupts again in 0 0.2 cycles. Makes me think maybe one steam turbine would not be enough, actually. If it's going to self-cool. Erupts in 60 seconds. How much steam is in here? Not that much. So the thermal mass isn't that high. But then... I was going to say it would be good if we at least make sure the stuff coming out of the steam room is at the ambient temperature. Uh, but oh yeah, this is at 208 degrees still. Probably could have improved this. Why don't I change it up a bit? We need a conveyor rail thermo sensor here, and or how about I don't know here, uh, and a conveyor shut off. Don't really have room to do it properly. Oh, here we go. Snip that. So we're gonna wait till the uh, the copper is at a chilly 125 degrees or slightly above that um, before we let it through. We don't necessarily need such a big room to do that, though. Okay. 
Yeah, double steam turbines are working hard for longer than I thought they would. I think I will do double steam turbines down here. On second thought, we could run the experiment. We could find out if this is enough. Let's do it for science. Um, and this is a bit sketchy, but theoretically there's no need for anyone to ever go in there again if we do this right. Hmm. I can't really... I can't fit a gas pump to get the gas out of there, though. If I do it like this. Oh, I can with a mini gas pump. Right then. We could put a little bit of oil in there. So that the temperature... The temperature is going to equalize anyway. Yeah, I want to see how small this build could be. I mean, we could always use active cooling for the steam turbine, but uh, I like to avoid that if we can. How am I going to steal, uh, seal the steam in here? By making a vacuum and putting in water? Or putting in water and then making a vacuum, I should say? That makes sense. What are we printing? Uh, operating, building, decorating, don't think so. Let's go for the muck group. How's our build up top? Uh, what are we missing here? A lot, actually. Not sure why. Is it breachable? Yes. Oh, let's get a little oil here. Priority is pretty high. So why haven't they built this? They've definitely got a path. Maybe they just didn't get around to it. This doesn't need to be obsidian up the top. It's only where the liquid could come. Let's do sedimentary. Let me double check. Sedimentary rock. Magma at 926 degrees. Okay. And we'll need a mini gas pump in here. If I do it this way, we're never getting that mini gas pump out. I don't love that idea. Uh, I think we'll just do the 
double airlock. Oh wait, that won't work here. It'll melt, theoretically. Um, I think we should make it at least a little bit bigger. We can put airlock like so. Active wire. Uh, wherever. Probably up here. Actually. So we can see where that's going to be. Let's get a little bit of water in here. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. I don't love that steel just sitting there. gonna have steam turbine right about here. Sweep up the steel please. What would happen if steel melts? Is it its own thing or is it a steel liquid? Steel gas, wow. I guess it just continues to be steel. So many people down here building, surely this has been done, right? Oh, it actually has. Fantastic. Okay. That should sort itself out. Uh, so we have digging, we have pulling, well we don't actually have the crude oil dropped off here yet. And we have automatic door that will uh, close when we have... Wait, won't the crude oil get deleted by the regolith? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Hmm. In that case, I wonder how we're going to keep this cool. Unless we immerse it in gas. Which is going to escape when the bunker door opens. I could always do like a double bunker door kind of thing with timed airlocks and stuff. That seems really overkill. Where's our build down here? Mostly done. Fantastic. Uh, can we get some water? Why is this ladder made of sandstone? Needs to be obsidian. Uh, 
Uh, where's our gas pump? Should I delete it? Whoops. Well, may as well use a bigger one this time. Get this water down here already. And same goes for the... Oh, we got the crude oil. Fantastic. Oh, actually, I guess I'll leave the bottle emptier. If we need to replenish this oil, then... It'd be better if that stays there, I guess. Someone gonna bring this water? Yes. Fantastic. Probably only need a little bit, to be honest. 200 kilograms? It would take 25 times that for this to be full. But I don't think we need that much steam. How much is this? 110 kilograms per tile. Oh, we need to keep the pressure relatively low as well. 150 was too much here. Uh, let's see. I don't think it says. I'm gonna guess that 150 would be too much over here as well. So maybe we'll let Veldak drop this off and then that'll be it for the water. See how that goes. I can probably fit... Yeah, I could fit a bottle emptier here in case we need to add more later. That's easy enough. Alright, decon that. And cut that off until the room is actually sealed. Remove the manual airlock here. Create a vacuum so we can keep the temperature in. It's already been another cycle, really. Okay. I wish I could queue up the rest of these. Um, okay, I think we're ready to... to connect these. And let that regolith down. Oh. We're not cooling this robo miner. Uh whoopsie. We can arrange for that. Just do the same thing as we've done before. Let a bit of little bit of waste gas out next to it. Actually, that alone might help cool the telescope, so why don't we... I'd need to move this uh, bottle emptier. I'll get it out of the way. That might be all it takes to keep the telescope cool. 125 DTUs. That's quite low. Yeah. That should be way more than enough. Don't need the oil. Assuming the oil will even stay there. Which I'm gonna bet it won't, at least in the long run. Reduced visibility. You don't say. What's this damaged thing? Awaiting repair delivery steel. 
What happened? Um... What? Am I gonna need double layers so that Regolith never falls on this? Like, are we gonna have to dig out the Regolith from here before we open the second bunker door? That might be how that works. Uh, apparently we don't have igneous rock. Let's use granite. I wish they'd hurry up and... Yeah, there we go. still can't place this? What's in the way? Nothing. Okay. It still has reduced visibility. Huh. Oh, it's at 170 degrees? Well, that's not its overheat temperature. Yeah, I think it got damaged just because there was regolith in front of it, probably. Also, the crude oil is in fact gone already. Let's have a peek downstairs. Squishy Fox, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I not mark this for deconstruction, really? I think I marked it for deconstruction and then cancelled auto bottle. And I remember this still said deconstruction. Oh, was it because I put this here and then cancelled? because it was the wrong material. Oh, a telescope? Did you discover new planets? Uh, not yet. We haven't got it working yet. I mean, I could probably be using it right now, but... Uh, we haven't yet got the systems in place to support it. I just want this gas, uh, waste gas output right next to it to cool it a little bit. Um, and then we'll get started. Also, do I need to, like... How does this work? I don't know. I, I don't know if I replaced the research stations down here yet. Uh, I did indeed. It needs dirt. We're not researching because we don't have dirt. 10 kilograms. Wow. Um, that's unfortunate. We've got Paku. We should have polluted dirt, right? Unless it's all going to the poker shells. Polluted dirt zero. Dirt zero. Yikes. Okay. Um, I might drop the priors on these a little bit. Are there no eggs? How are there no eggs? Okay, so... Priority 8, Priority 7, and this one, Research, is Priority 9. Seems good. Can I 
I think I've asked this question before. Can I dig up some dirt? Uh, is it under organic or cultivate cultivatable soil? We got clay. We got dirt over here. Uh, two point two tons actually. Well, that'll help for a minute. There's our research. Um, but yeah, I think I need to crank the priority on composting, because none of it, none of our polluted dirt is getting turned into dirt. I also really need pips again, so we can turn arbitraries into dirt. We had a million of them before, and somehow their population crashed. I think I think we have to have excess critters have a steam bath so that the population doesn't explode and then crash when we're not looking. I can't Auto wrangle excess Paku though, can I? Uh, auto wrangle surplus. Auto wrangle surplus. How many is a surplus? Like eight, I imagine. That's what it was for the. Uh, Patches, I think. Let's see. Auto wrangle surplus, max five critters. There's currently six critters if you count the eggs. So if I understand this correctly, if I set this as low priority, um, the critter drop off and allow any type of critter or at least any type that we're trying to manage the population of. The surplus will get wrangled to here, right? But they won't take them there by default. Hiding, decorating, cooking, researching, digging, building. This is fine. Oh, are we done with research already? That didn't take long. Uh, all right, solid fuel combustion, solid cargo, liquid and gas cargo, hydrocarbon combustion, unique cargo. I have no idea where we should start with this, but let's just pick solid fuel combustion and see what happens. Oh, what, sign, what sort of damage did that just say? I didn't see it. I'd really like to know exactly why this took damage. Normally, if we point where it says, um, where it says awaiting repair delivery, it says it took damage from heat, but with this one it doesn't. Eldak unreachable. Many people in suits up here? Probably overheat. It's only 184 degrees. How have we still not built this? Are you kidding me? Bruh. Why 
Also, the ladders are getting wrecked. Uh, not that we need them right now. In fact, I might just... Oh. That's awkward. The way I put that automation wire there. Are we not building this even though it's max priority? It's still awaiting 30 milligrams of copper? Bruh. Oh wow, this got wrecked as well? Okay, I definitely, definitely shouldn't be opening that door. Um, can we stop with that? Actually, I don't know how this got wrecked. At all. Now that I look at it. Alright. There's our... Gas vent, and... I didn't see any noticeable... Oh, yep, temperature dropped just a little. As long as it keeps it below 275 degrees, it's fine. Missing research station. Requires a virtual planetarium. Oh. I thought we needed the telescope for the research. Virtual planetarium. Um, oh, here it is. Conducts interstellar research to unlock new technologies, consumes data from telescopes and research modules. Okay, so we do need the telescope. Assigned duplicates must possess astronomy. One unit per research point. Power 120 watts duplicate operation. Overheats at once at 75 degrees. Um... I'm kind of tempted to just... Why don't we make a vertical door here? Plug this up. And see if it can fit... Right about here? Oh, it does. Oh, that's too good. Uh, let's go with steel. And connect to this like so. And I'm going to make this room not exposed to vacuum. Uh, just so that the temperature can equalize and not quite melt the virtual planetarium. I really don't know how this happened. Okay, back downstairs. Uh, let's get obsidian up to here. This can go here. And once that's built, we'll pump our gas out again. Um, I could just connect the steam turbine to this. I, it, it's only there to delete heat. I don't care about the power from here. Good job, Matrim. Fantastic. No, wait. No, no, no. Why? You were so close. Why? You were so close to being awesome. Why did you stop short? Alright, Kevin's got the job done. Let's connect this again. Make a vacuum here. 
That should be more than enough water to flash to steam once ready, we're ready to dig this out. Oh, and we need the self-cooling and stuff. Kind of important. Insulated pipe through here. And liquid vent. Doesn't really matter what we make it out of. Fantastic. So when we look again, this should be ready to go. I hope. Research. There we go. So this is... I don't know, to be honest. Oh, there's no path to make those wires. Let's fix that. Probably make it out of not sandstone, actually. Wait, did I pause it? No, we're good. Oh, is it already a vacuum? It is already a vacuum. Fantastic. Let's cut that off and remove this. We'd be needing that again, I hope. Someone's on the way. Fantastic. Should probably put a ladder here. Priority very low. How did this happen? There's copper ore that we can dig out. Uh, metal, copper ore. How did it do that? I really don't know. I really should have... I was going to say I should have built the airlocks last, but that's not quite true. Alright, finally. Is this it? Let's see. We've got our pipes. We've got our water. We've got vacuum. We've got vacuum here. Uh, did the metal melt after taking that door down? don't think so. When you deconstruct a manual airlock with something blocking the left and right, it turns into a metal tile. Interesting. Alright, uh, I think this is it. We're digging out this uh, granite and analyzing the gold volcano when we get the chance. 
and finding out the hard way if one steam turbine is enough to delete the heat from here. Alright. It's not erupting right now, so let's have a peek up here again. They still haven't built this. Okay. Uh, and I want a airlock here. Why can't I build... Oh, because there's, uh... There's drywall. And I think I will... Remove these airlocks once we build that. Our batteries continue to gain charge. Fantastic. 99.5 degrees. The ones on the left are cooler though. could be the case that this steam turbine is on the long road to eventually not working. Why does it always seem like cycles are like 10 seconds long whenever we're trying to get something done? Queue this up now and deconstruct those. And that should pretty much be fine for the virtual planetarium, I think. It makes a lot of heat, but it'll equalize with all of this. Oh, wow, it's a lot hotter up the top here. Uh, 134 degrees here, though. I guess we'll find out. That doesn't need to be made of obsidian. Deck. Analyzing the vo gold volcano. Good job. Suppress current. There we go. Uh, it didn't even cross my mind, actually, that the gold volcano wouldn't be ready to erupt uh, at the time. I completely forgot as well. I should really sweep this stuff up and quickly. Because last time we ended up with liquid, I don't even remember what, in here. Um, something liquefied that we brought it back up here and it solidified. Supplying, doctoring, operating, cooking, suit wearing, digging... Hiding, decorating, ranching. I don't think so. Also, why are we not picking up this copper? Oh. I see. We never built this. Because... I set it so no one would go back in here. Alright then. Do we even have storage for these things? I think we do. Another cycle has passed.
Alright. I guess the uh, coolant loop isn't doing anything for this since there's no fluid. Uh, but the gas is getting the job done. Deldak is on the job, analyzing the volcano. It's probably going to take another cycle or two. At least we're sweeping. Wait a sec, can I like... No. I can't leave these quote-unquote open. So that people can go through them faster. It's not the way this modded door works. Alright, what about up here? Probably never getting done because I didn't set it to top priority. Oh, no, here we go. That's being delivered at least. And... Can't really see the progress because the sweep errands. We got this done, though. Needs some power. And I want to set this to green signal if below... 127 degrees? And then we just need power and we're good. Is that of construction I see? It is. Fantastic. It's waiting for data bank. And I believe data bank comes from here. Data bank, one unit per research point. Consumes data from telescopes and research modules. So, we're waiting on telescope operation. No analysis focus selected. Open the star map. Oh, we already did this. Carbon asteroid. So, do I have to keep manually selecting targets for the telescope just to get research done? Or can I queue all of these up? Nope. Yes, we have to keep analyzing. I didn't even see someone using this, though. Unfortunate. Okay. Analysis will be complete in a second, though. No, Veldak, no! Uh, I guess analysis will be complete tomorrow. And then we'll find out exactly when our gold volcano. You need a rocket for data banks. Don't I need yellow research to get a rocket? Or what have we got? Gantry, steam engine, command capsule, and research module. Damn. Oh boy. I'm... I am experiencing the oh crap of what it felt like trying to get into the mid game. Oh no. We're going to have to think bigger for this. So I think uh, what they really want you to do for the um, telescope is to have an extra layer up here to deal with the regolith before you open this up. Uh, and we're probably going to have to do something similar with the rocket, otherwise it'll get smashed. I mean, where the hell are you supposed to fit this gantry? 
among other things. I'm thinking we have to have, like, a huge area and then... Even more bunker doors up here. And some miners to deal with the regolith. And... They have to be controlled by timers, or... We could put them like this. The regolith will fall on them. We can have one from the side, get the whole thing started. That's going to be a whole thing. I might play around in sandbox before I try doing that here, even though we've got lots of steel coming through. Uh, next activity, 5.7 cycles. Nice. Alright, uh, I hope we can get this stuff swept before then. Um, but I think that will be for tomorrow. Whoops. We've already gone significantly over time for today. Hopefully we can sweep that up before it liquefies into something different. Thank you. Alright, let's see who's streaming. Uh, we'll try Oxygen Not Included. And... I'm literally the only person streaming Oni today? Really? Uh, Alright then, let's have a look at Factorio. Perhaps. I don't see... Oh, we got Intertooth at the very least. Tumbling. Space. That's not space. That's vanilla. Uh... Who's playing what? We got Andy doing SEK2. We got not a whole lot else, really. All right, I think in the spirit of things in space, we'll jump over to SEK2. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Traxed, take care. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue with Oxygen Not Included. After that, we'll be going back to Factorio Space Exploration with Crestorio 2. And uh, till then, stay safe. Take care, Evil Pla. Thanks for hanging out. And away we go. What the fuck is that? Hey, DX! With the right...